another special episode. What's up, guys? Claro Manzano here on behalf of Claudia Perrine. Of course, the who the heck are we crew? And we've got a lot of guests. I don't even know if this is an episode. We've got a podcast party. Many familiar faces. And what makes me excited is the new guys, of course. Hence, Coach Ernie wanted to bring about half the team. So I think we have almost enough people by the end of this podcast to you know feel your stallion 11. So, yes. now let's get to it. There was a lot of crazy, let's say, social media waves, Stallion posting and revealing their new signings. But the, here's the catch. There was no description. It was just the name. And I know one page is actually messaging Stallion, asking for more information. And Oh, there you go. What they said was perfect. Tune in to Who the Heck Are We podcasters. Who the heck are these new players, right? <laughs> I mean, who the heck are the, the familiar names, right? These, we can still find out more about them. So... Exactly. Let's Especially bring them in. Kado, with the Copa coming up soon. We're going to get exactly. to know these guys, right? Oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh. I mean, we're going to run out of people to tag on Instagram already when we have our stories, right? So, let's bring it in. Um, Ooh, it's going to be a party. The lineup. We got Coach Ernie, of course. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Hi, Coach Hi, Ernie. Coach. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm on, no, I'm on the way to the office. So, I'll be kind of jumping in and out. But okay, just give me a few minutes and we'll be good. No worries, Coach. Um, Coach, you said you like hard questions, so can you disclose any details from your friendly you just had? I think you said someone had a hat trick in 10 minutes. So, Oh, Bendo yeah. Juanito. Yeah, Juanito. That's, I'm putting pressure on McDaniel. You know, uh, uh, Juan scored a hat trick in like 10 minutes, so he's been playing really well. He's, wow. we, we, we say he's already domesticated, you know, and he's the first Mexican who got to go to Manny Pacquiao's house without getting beat up in the face. Ooh, okay. <laughs> he, he got he got to meet Manny Pacquiao, got his signature, got all the photos. I introduced him as the Mexican, and he didn't get beat up. So that's a first for for you know for Philippine football and for Philippine boxing. Oh, the Mexican so survived, <laughs> survived the house with Manny Pacquiao. You know, oh, you just arrived at your up. office. There you go. Okay, yep, yep, yep. So, coach. We know you're at the office right now, but. Well, the intro is not done, okay? So let's bring in the McDaniel. I don't know if you call him a sibling tandem or a father and son tandem, right? I we got the call McDaniels, them of course. Hello again. I call them siblings. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got. I say Claro. Claudia is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Siblings. Siblings yeah. for sure. <laughs> don't worry, Coach Clint. <laughs> anyway. Um, oh, Finn, long time no see. Eh? You're back on the show again. <laughs> Good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, I did oh, the whole podcast of uh, interview with Finn. Okay, man, that was long. <laughs> yeah, that's how much they like me. Yeah. That was, yeah. That was fun. That we was were fun. hiding in the, in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, you were getting Carl Jr. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Okay, Carl Jr. I, I was telling Finn we need to find a way to get the girls back with him. I think they wanted to throw his sneakers or a sock at him. So I'd like to see that on air. But the backstage they actually did. Really they threw fun. a sock. They threw a sock at, Clint, uh, at Finn. Yeah, yeah. yeah off did. camera, yeah. Finn's like, oh, they threw a sock at me during the halftime break. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. So um, just to let the listeners know, so... The limit on this team is 10, okay? <laughs> the coach wanted to bring half the team. And I couldn't say no because that's bigger than a family reunion in the pandemic, right? So we're going to be bringing them in and out. So for, we got our first half and then we got our second half of players coming on later. Well, no limit for substitutes or no limit on not, substitutes not. here, okay? <laughs> so that is perfect for us. But um, Coach Ernie, um, so we had, you had that friendly of yours. Before we get to the McDaniels, so what was the result and who did you play against? Uh, we don't talk about results and friendlies, you know. That's okay. why it's a friendly, right? You okay. Know, it was it was pretty good, you know. The coaches run the tactics and everything, and we got we got the players to run the system that we wanted. So that's the most important thing. Uh, we played Mendiola uh, today. Yesterday we played. Yesterday we played Gom, and mm-hmm. then on on Friday we're gonna play uh, Nana FC. Okay, Nana FC is made up of African players and and who always play with Stalins. Every time we want to, you know, uh, you know, get some fights going inside the pitch, then we bring Nana FC in so we kind of get you know, everybody in shape and, and get bruises going. And you know, luckily Finn's not here. You know, if not, oh boy. Yeah, you have to. You have to throw. You have to get me out the field, man. <laughs> 
<laughs> Boxing gloves. I think Nan FC is their connection coach. I think Christian Nana is, is with yeah, Stalin. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stalin. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. so coach, yeah. coach Ernie, when you mean fights, uh, does Juanito also part of that the Mexican fight? Does he know how to? No, no. Juanito. Juanito always runs fast. Yeah. <laughs> one, one, one's too friendly. The last okay. fight I saw do was with the bench. Yeah, you know why I call him Juanito? No, why? One, one, one time we were playing, and I said, because oh, yeah, Juanito's a striker, so I'm putting everybody in their positions, and they go, one, holding midfield, one, holding midfield. I was saying one person holding midfield, and oh. he, was, he thought I was saying one, you play holding midfield, and he's not a holding midfielder. So I looked up and he said, I said, what are you doing in the middle? Coach, you said one in the holding midfield. I said, nah. <coughs> one, one person. Uno, uno. Huh? Okay. So, Perfect. So I said, no, I, that's why I started calling him Monito. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think we have a lot of Spanish-speaking guests coming on the show. So sometimes oh, I don't Claudio would refer to me as Claro and they might think they're saying, oh, this is clear. So yes. just, a, just a heads up to our buddies, of course. But to the McDaniel siblings, as Cla- Claudia iconically um, <laughs> labels them as. Um, how's it been as of late? Let's say you guys are the Stallion delegation in California. How's training as of late and coordinating with all the players set to come in? Uh, it's, it's been really good. Um, I keep getting telling Ernie I need, I need a few more spots, but uh, it seems like we're capped at six, so... Uh, but it's gone well. We've we've had uh, quite a few players we've talked to, and 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 uh, they're all out here training at Winter Circle as well with us, um, doing some night sessions on the field. They have a nice field out there, and then working with Alicio. Shout out to Alicio and Winter Circle um, for letting us use their facilities and everything. And he's been prepping the prepping the boys real well. Um, few of the two of the guys are from. One from Vegas, one from Northern Cal, but everyone else is here. Uh, but we're excited. It's going to be a great season. Got some real good talent coming in, um, and it should be good. I mean, got two players that we think could make it to the Ascoles, potentially two coming in. So uh, as long as – as well as the players Ernie already has coming in that will be on the show later too. So it's we're expecting a big season. Fantastic. And of course, Finn was just on the episode on our show recently and said, I think Alessio is the one who kills him. So I imagine him doing that to everyone, yeah. getting all the yeah. players in the USA into tip top shape. And you're telling us you're training in a world class facility yes. with some big names. So do you mind telling us about that? You guys have great company. Uh, yeah. Um... Finn, I guess. Yeah. With Alicio, we always manage to get either Division One athletes, whether it's football, baseball, but also professional athletes like in the NFL, some NBA, um, MLB. I even trained with um, today an MMA fighter, so that was cool. Yeah. There's, okay. There's uh, a lot of professional athletes there. Um, and then uh, Finn and, and Chandler as well are over at uh, Modus uh, Physical Therapy. Uh, Chandler obviously with the knee rehab and then – Finn getting work on his, his Chandler and Finn are like my two Ferraris and Olivia is like my my Bronco as she says. <laughs> <laughs> they keep broken and they keep breaking. <laughs> so Finn is over there getting work done, uh, my, small stuff, and Chandler's with the knee. But there's a even over there, it's all like uh, the NFL, like Chargers are all in there and everything. It's it's pretty cool. They, they're, they're pretty excited, uh, in good hands for sure. Nice. Is this the same one? Level training. Yes, Claudia. Yeah, uh, Finn, is this the same one that you mentioned during our podcast that really improved your, your speed um, and your pace? Yeah, that's Winter Circle. Modus is um just a physical therapy rehab place that we found recently just for, you know, maintenance, making sure we don't yeah. do anything worse to our bodies. Winter Circle's been, been with us for a long time, too. So, I mean, probably back yeah. since 2015, we've been interacting with Elysio. And it's nice too over at Alicia Winter Circle and Jordan Campbell. Uh, the facility has grown as time's gone on to turn into something that they they had a building, they bought the next building, they transfer wow. they turned Huge. the parking lot into a full field. It's it's really it's really quite impressive. So um, it's been fun to to kind of watch them grow and be able to work with them. 
Yeah, so Coach yeah. Ernie should uh, expect uh, Finn to really run as fast as he can on the field, no, Coach Ernie? I don't yeah, know. During his last interview, he said that my training is easy compared to what Elicio does for him. So uh -oh. I took note of that. <laughs> Oh I no! It's not that, so oh no! Yeah. You don't have I, I, you don't I, have those treadmills. That's what I'm saying uh, you don't have the treadmills at the field. Yeah, I, yeah. People always. I, I do, Germany's but the only fitness. difference is I. I <laughs> you know, I we do, but I, I've got something special for, for Finn. I I know how to motivate Finn. So don't worry. <laughs> exciting, no. exciting. exciting. No. But, no. Talk, talking about Elicio, we have to mention this also because every time we have camp. Uh, with the Malditas in the U.S. At least he always helps out. Okay? We've had a few, a lot of sessions with him where we bring like 30, 40 girls at one time you know, into winter circle just to be able to do some, you know, uh, specific works on them and rehabilitation and, you know, strength training. So at least he's Filipino and he's been helping us a lot, not just not just with, with the McDaniels, but also with the other girls. So he's always our go-to guy when it comes to things like this. Mm -hmm. You know, we love to pick his brain in the future, yes. too, perhaps. Bring him here. Yeah. yeah. But, Coach... Um, but he looks Mexican, though, man. He you know, <laughs> looks more Mexican than Filipino. <laughs> Coach, Mexico and Philippines very similar, right? Yeah. 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 Ask Jokoy, right? If you ask Jokoy, it's the same. Does <laughs> it? No, he doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Coach, yeah. But um, before we get on with it, Stallion, of course, you know, we're so excited with the Copa. I tend to skip things because I'm so excited, even with slides that we have here. Um, Coach, uh, Coach Ernie and Coach Clint, um, we know you guys are people behind the women's national team. Coach Ernie, even years back, handling the team, conducting tryouts, um, connecting with the McDaniels. I think the two girls, Chandler and Olivia, of course, went through tryouts in the West Coast. How happy are you just to see the fruits yeah. of your labor? Uh, we're a World Cup team, man. I'm getting goosebumps saying it. Philippines World Cup. And it's been months. I still can't believe it. I almost cried when they sealed the penalty. What's going you through your mind? You almost cried. You almost cried. I cried. I cried. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I can see I shed a tear, but it wasn't a great uh, cry. But of course, coach, you, of course, you're involved. So yeah. I understand. But how is it for you, coach, with that involvement, seeing the fruits of your labor? Well, it, it's not just one person, you know, like, like you said, you know, uh, Clint was a big part of this from day one. You know, that's when we met each other. And even before that, uh, Bucci and Pelido was helping us a lot. Uh, and Mark Mangune. Mark Mangune has been our big recruiter behind the scenes that nobody really hears about. And he's, he's done a lot to help us. But uh, we have a good thing going with, with, with Clint, myself, with Philbert, and the rest of the gang. Like, Clint would actually identify a lot of these players and tell us, you know, who were the board ones we should be inviting. And uh, believe it or not, we went – as young as under 14 players that we would actually send from, from our camps in the U.S. And guess what? You know, the president just gave us a go signal to activate the U19 boys, U16 boys, U18 girls, and U15 girls for the AFF uh, competition. So it uh, looks like we're going to be having another camp in the U.S. pretty soon. So it, it, it's, it's a big thing. You know, this, this, we, we became friends and, you know, now we're, we're – you know, they, they're as much as part of my family as, you know, we are to them, you know. When, when, when the McDaniels are here, they stay with us. When we're there, we stay with them. So, you know, we, we, we buy each other's junk food and other, <laughs> each other's cravings and crazy things, you know. Like, you know, Lindy last night was just asking me, hey, what do we have to bring over? Well, I just had a box brought over. So just buy me this, buy me that. So that's, it's, it's grown into the type of relationship. Wow, that's great. Can I add an in and out meal, please? Yeah. So I'm just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, um, to Coach Clint, um, people know Coach Ernie, of course, as that frontman bringing in people from the USA, particularly the West Coast, footballer, soccer talent. And let's allow you to, let's say, introduce you to the Filipino football community yeah. you know, and your role. Because a lot of credit to you, of course, for bringing in people through the pipeline. So do you mind like, telling people about yourself? Sure. Um, yeah, we've been. Uh, did it break up there? We've been um, bringing in. I met Ernie in 2012 uh, when we brought out Chandler and then Olivia to um, train with the team. Uh, that when he when he was out here visiting with uh, the women's national team, and they ended up playing. I think at that time it was the Vikings Cup. Yeah, um, Vikings. it was kind of crazy. They they lost their field. They were 
Yeah, they were at Cal State Fullerton uh, University, and something happened, and they lost the field, and we ended up talking, and I ran, I ran a club out here at the time, and so we moved over to our field, and the camp went from there, and then we just kept going year after year, sometimes twice a year. Uh, I'd run it with uh, out here. Sometimes Ernie would come out, sometimes not. Philbert as well. Uh, but like he said, Mark Mangune would – would always uh, find the players, and then we would we would run them through the camps, go to some of the tournaments out here, identify talent as well. Trey Charlin was a, a big help in that too. So he, a lot of the early camps, uh, he was definitely at all, almost all of them with me. And then uh, we just identified a lot of players from the like like Gurney said from 14 on up to the national team. So it's pretty it's pretty exciting. I could tell you this last go around with the girls out in Uzbekistan and then, and then in India, it was really exciting to see so many of the players that we had brought through the camps on the field. Uh, it had finally like, it really, really, that was probably the, the most we'd ever seen. And at one time, because yeah. I think at one point there was like maybe eight or nine of them on the field at the same time. It was really yeah. exciting. So yeah, but since 2012, we've been doing that. It's had its ups and downs. We've had years where we took a year off, but um, ultimately it's been pretty, pretty straight through. And uh, then the Stallion stuff, uh, when Finn got to the right age, he was at college. He's probably told you that story. We decided uh, it was best maybe just go pro. And I talked to Ernie and we sent him over there. And, and now I'm trying to help out with uh, the Stallions as well, getting involved. Well, it's, fun. it's fantastic. Yes, of course. Well, that's as... kind of the, the, the... <laughs> yes. the story. Yeah, we got a big connection with Stallion in your club, Corinthians. We're this covering women's national team a bit, of course, you know, we have to make sure that we you know, pay tribute to them nonetheless. But Claudia, um, I think you got some questions for Coach Clint. Yeah, Coach Clint, you know, um, uh, during uh, Finn's interview, he said you were his number one uh, inspiration, his rock. But I want to I wanna ask, what is it you actually see in players that you want to bring to the Philippines? Is it, uh, is it the physicality? Is it a character? A type of player that you want to bring back to the Philippines, or is it someone who's really smart and, and tactical? Um, yeah. So, how? What's your philosophy? Basically, what's your philosophy, Coach Clint? Um, you, you. I'm so sorry. You broke up for most of that. Okay. But I did hear what's your philosophy. So, I'm guessing where the question was, what's our philosophy or my. The game, yes. how to play. Yes, that's right. Yep, your coaching philosophy. Wow, the connection just. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So I like, as far as coaching and everything. I mean, we're I, I like very skilled players, but um, a possession style of soccer where we're keeping the ball, knocking it around. Preferred formation is usually like a four-three-three. Um, certainly, some formations, some players will dictate that and change that. Uh, but but again, like when we're looking at the stallions, we're trying to to move and and encourage uh, uh, controlling the ball, keeping the ball more. Players always dictate that though, and the levels of, of of the players' ability to do that. But that's kind of what we're hoping for. Uh, with with my kids, it, I wanted them to be able to to hit the ball hard, learn to probably to properly shoot and, and get that the shape of their foot on the ball. Um, Good ball control, being able to do it in tight spaces. You see, uh, Olivia is a good example of that. She, she never got let off on any of the skill work, so she had to do everything they did on the footwork side. So she's pretty good with the, the ball at her feet. And um, and then from there, it's just a good possession game. So as far as the talent out here, I mean, I ran a club out here for years, so California's got a lot of players uh, around, and we were able to to – let the team grow and the kids grow. Finn, I got to, the chance to train him since he was, I don't know, I think four years old. So it, uh, it's it been fun. I always, my thing with coaching was uh, if I was going to coach, I wanted to do it with my kids uh, instead of away from them. So many coaches get dragged the other direction. Their kids are trained by other people as they train and, and coach. And I, I never wanted that. I, if I was going to do this, it was always going to be they were going to train and play with me. So it kind of we got lucky in that that it worked out, and thus far the, the three of them have done really well, and 
now I'm training an eight-year-old. <laughs> yes, we heard about yeah. the eight-year-old. They were yeah, telling we us, heard. yes, yeah. your son, Deflin. So yeah. I told Finn, we kind of reserved a spot for him down the line already yeah. on the show. But um, yeah. let's get to it, Coach Clint. You helping out with the women's national team and seeing this lead to World Cup qualification. What does this mean to you, seeing your hard work simply you know, give you the results that you aspire for? I think one word would be vindication. Uh, just, uh, yeah, just, just proof that what we did had value. Um, yeah. That's a good a word. Coach is, That's a good one. Yeah, being a coach is challenging. You know, you're going to be on highs and lows. You're going to have people that are for you and against you. And same thing with working with the Malditas. There's ups and downs, and, and there's times when we're popular and times when we're unpopular. So, I think that the biggest thing is is that it was it was very um, vindicating, very enjoyable to see the players that that we knew could get the team to a certain place get off, actually get on the field. So I think Ernie and I have been trying to put the right mixture together for quite a while, and we always had a vision that we knew this could happen. Uh, but it's it's hard to get everybody together at one time in one place. 2018, we came close, um, yep. and uh, it certainly was a building point that that we were able to jump off of. And it was it was something that came together in this last grouping. Um, while we weren't directly coaching the teams, I mean, it all came. It was it was fortunate as well to get a, an international coach like uh, Coach Allen out there, who yep. could. Uh, then take the girls with his experience and, and run with it. So it was it was very exciting. And and I do say I appreciate Coach Morrow as well. He was he treated my girls really well as, as well. And Coach Ernie along the way always was was wonderful to, to Chandler and Olivia and even to Finn here now. So um, some good coaches along the way and uh, and a little bit of luck and you now the girls have the opportunity of a lifetime and now the Stallions are going to come in here and, and make it to the AFC Champions League and we're going to start the next path. So that's what we're aiming for now. The, the girls are on their way. Now it's time for the boys. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Uh, Clara, I got one more for uh, actually All right. for both for both Coach Ernie and, and then Coach Clinton. Let's go back to that night, that penalty kick. What were your thoughts running through? I want to. I want to hear it from Coach Ernie. Hmm. Well, too many, too many thoughts actually. Uh, uh, honestly, it was more of, like Clint said. It was more vindication. The first thing I did, be, even before that ball hit the net when it went in, I was on the phone with 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 MVA, and <laughs> I'm sure both of us were crying like crazy because we couldn't understand each other. Then I called Clint, and I couldn't understand Clint either. So it was more. <laughs> Yeah, it was a little loud. I know. I mean, I mean, I, I went to bed at five in the morning because I was in a podcast with, you know, with a lot of people talking about football and just talking about how this whole thing came together. And 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 I'm just so happy that that the PFF and uh, Jeff Cheng brought in Coach Allen because he was the right coach to take this team to the next level. I mean, he was able to get the most out of all these girls. You know, and and the program that he's putting in place, you know, and you know what he plans to do, uh, leading toward to the World Cup. It, it's just you know we're here to support him, you know, 100. percent And I'm talking about the federation, you know, and even with Stallions itself. You know, now we have Camille Rodriguez training with the team right now. She's been on week two, uh, going on week three, uh, just preparing for that camp uh, with Coach Allen and and Malditas in Australia. So I'm hoping that some of the other girls, I my you know um, my my Sabrina said that also the Castaneda sisters will be you know joining the training. So whatever we can do, it's the same thing we did in the U.S. It was always right. what do we have to do to get these girls to the World Cup? That's always been the goal since day one. We never lost track of that. Like Clint mm -hmm. said, you know some of the times people liked us, some of the times people hated us, you know and. You know, even between me and Clint, we would have these big arguments on how things should be and we should just leave this alone, just forget about this whole thing. But, you know, at the end of the day, we would look at our kids. The one thing that Clint and I have in common is we coach our children. 
you know, yep. even me with Samantha, Sabrina, and Matthew, it's 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 the same thing. So even though we knew it was hard, it was difficult, and things were challenging, you know, we would look to our children for inspiration and say, we're doing this for them, not really for us. You know, so that's why we're here, I guess. You know, because it's really about you know the next generation. You know, and yep. if it if it takes us being uh, <laughs> You know, uh, wanting vindication for a lot of things. It's not really for us. It's really for, you know, for the women's national team and now for Stallions and, you know, our children as well. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah, the, the Filipino football community is so small. It's just everyone helping each other out, of course, just to achieve those goals of putting the Philippines on the grand stage. Okay. And then we're seeing your, you guys, your backyard, um, putting Stallion up there, of course. We know you want to play Champions League football. Coach, let's conclude our national team chat or kwentuhan. But you did say first you like controversial questions. Coach, Malditas. Or people my... talk about the nickname. Yay or nay? Or could you tell us about it? I know there's a big connection, of course, with you taking care of the team. Well, it's it's like I, I would tell people who would always ask me the same question, you know, why, why, why? I said it, it's not the name. It's the attitude behind the name. You know, being a Maldita means you're being feisty. It's a modern Filipino. Somebody who won't stand for shit. You know, you'll stand up to everything. You, you know, you, you, you're playing in a male-dominated sport. Come on. And here you are training like men, you know, but being wanted to be treated like women. And, you know, opening doors of opportunities. Could you imagine that? After high Dylan Diaz, you know, women's national team leading the growth for football in the Philippines. They've set the standard for everybody else to follow. I'm sorry. They, that's it. You know, now it's it's so nice because now everybody's talking about what's next. You know, even for the even the president himself, he said, you know, I don't want to qualify anymore, you know, for AFC. I want to win. So suddenly there's a big shift in mentality. It's a big paradigm shift, you know. The inflection point happened when that goal went in. When that happened, that's it. You know, Philippine football is now at a totally different level. And if our local Filipinos haven't realized it yet, well, you better lis listen and read the news articles being written about Philippine football. You know, just look what happened last night when they were talking about uh, Kaya during their game, right? They said, hey, you know, this is a big stage for them. They've improved a lot, even though two years with the pandemic, not having all these competitions in place. But they, they were very competitive. You know, so that's the expectation. You know, now it's no more baby step. Now we're not in it just to qualify or say, oh, yeah, Philippines, yeah, you played good today. No, 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 no. We want to kick your ass. You know, it's as simple as that. So we're at that stage now. Now we have higher goals that we've set. You know, and like Clint said, the expectation for Stallions is, you know, to go to, to, go to the AFC Champions League. You know, we won it back to back during the UFL, but it's UFL days. You know, and it took a while for us to get to this level that we're at right now because we had a certain way of doing things. You know, I, uh, we didn't want to just do it for the sake of fighting over a plastic trophy. That's basically what you know, all the PFL owners are doing because right now we're not really making that much when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, investment, when it comes to return on investment in, in Philippine football. But we see it as a big, when it comes to the future growth, of Philippine football. We see it as Philippines growing in the international stage. Now you have like 25 to 30 local players who you find their roots in the PFL who are now playing overseas. So like my objective is for, for Finn, I got to kick him out my next year. I don't want to see him. I don't want to see his face in the stallions next year. He's going to be <laughs> playing in a foreign league. And that's what I've told oh. him you know, since he was a little kid. Yeah, you, you come to stallions, I train you, then get lost. I want you to play <laughs> Japan. I want you to play Korea. I want you to play overseas. That's right. You know, because if not, yeah. if not, the two sisters are going to be doing that. So he's got a lot of pressure on him, right? So mm -hmm. <laughs> that's how I motivate. That's how I motivate. Fit. You know, I put that up there. You know, and it's nice. I see their picture right behind, right, right on top of him. Angel right the on top girls. of his shoulder. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and shoes, and shoes. Our family and shoes. Yeah, and shoes. And shoes. Uh, yes, yes. And shoes, uh, which we share with oh Coach Ernie, too. Yes. Yeah, Olivia went home with half of my shoes because we have the yes. same shoe size. Yes. So Olivia goes, this, is mine, this is mine, this is mine, this is mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, so all the McDaniels have Air Max in their middle name. We concluded. 
in our episode. Yes, with Finn. That's their nickname. <laughs> yeah, like we're saving Max McDaniels. Yeah. yeah, we're saving a lot of you know McDaniel banter because I'm gonna pull heaven and earth to get the girls back on the show. So Finn, we told you we're saving a lot of that stuff. We're getting the popcorn ready, but all right, I can't wait to bring in. Let's bring in some of the faces. Coach, you said Stallion, of course. They bring in so many names. You said, I'm going to develop you, get lost. And you can say, a lot of big names played with Stallion at a certain point in their career. So, of course, I'm excited again. We're going to, uh, we have big names. We have names. We have we're going to be names. big. Yeah. So, um, Coach, can you tell us real quick, though, who are the foreign players that you're bringing in? And I think we can start with them because if I'm correct, it's three or four spots, as we discussed with Coach, and then there's one Asian spot. I think you're not filling up that Asian no, spot we, this year. Yeah, this season we're allowed to have six foreigners on the team. Okay, okay. so we 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 bring in six. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. So uh, we're bringing in Chandler. We're bringing in Olivia. We're bringing... <laughs> <laughs> I, I had them. I had them. I had them on stallion jerseys, and I said, "Oh, are you signing hey, well, for well, the don't, year?" Don't give away our international spots. They're they're Filipino. <laughs> yeah, we're Filipino uh, international. Anyway, we got we got uh, oh, Gabe is coming back. We're really happy that yes. Gabe is you know, is back. All uh, right. So and then Juanito, Juanito never left. You know, he's been here since, since you know, even through the holidays. You know, he spent the holidays with us and everything. Uh, so once there, and then we have Abu um, also on the pitch. And then, you know, we have uh, – he's half and half. So we're trying to get his papers done so we don't have okay. to worry about him anymore. But he's, he's Serena's younger brother. So, you know, Cameron yes. Bolden, you know, yep. uh, we'll be introducing him later on. And then yes. we got, we've got Oscar, okay, yes. and we got Rafa. And we've got Leo, so we, we're we're in that stage where we have more than you know the amount of uh, foreigners that we need, but that's what we want. Okay. Yeah. So Clint yes. is really good in, in in finding this talent overseas, and you know he's he's our newest partner. He's one of the newest owners for for Stallion, so it's a long term commitment uh, oh. for us. You know, you know we now we're working on Declan, and now we you know Matthew's going to have his third child. They're all going to be girls. <laughs> So yes. it looks like we're going to be with the Maldivas <laughs> for a long, long time. You know, so. Another girl? <laughs> yeah, another girl, yeah. Her name is Noah. We're waiting for her to come out. She's oh, not okay. out yet. Any day, any day now. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So we have those. And then a lot of new young talent, actually. So I think you've, you've, <laughs> seen, you've gotten a preview of, of those young talents. So hopefully... Uh, these players from the U.S. they know what they're getting into. Uh, Finn, obviously, and, and and Gabe, they know already. They've been here, you yes. know. So I I, I got new some some new victims that are coming over. So <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll we'll see. We'll 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 you know we'll we'll domesticate them just like Juanito. You know, of course, coach. You know they're gonna be ready for that. Put your head down and work stallion mentality, as um, Finn was telling us, and I think we can get into that. As you yep. carry along with the show. And I can't wait. Let's start to bring in the names already. So, um, folks, stage. Yeah, I can do it. So, okay. we have Gabe Silva returning. And then we also have Leo, of course. Hi, guys. Hey. How's Hi. it going? Hello. Um, I'll get the party started already. Let's just keep bringing them in. And then we have yep. Rafa, I think, one of the foreign players also. Um, Coach Clint, is that right? Yeah, Rafa. Rafa Hello, yes. How's it going? Well, hey, Rafa. Hey. Okay, Rafa. then let's bring in. Okay, guys, you um, Coach Ernie mentioned Cameron Bolden, so the brother of Serena, and he is here. Okay, so don't shut off your laptops. So we got Cameron. Hey, Cameron, hey, how Cameron. are we doing? How's hey, it going? Cameron. Cameron's doing good. Cameron, how are you? Uh, yeah, Cameron for the league will we're hoping will be not international, but uh, he's he's about done with his paperwork so. Nice. Nice. Yes. That'll be a real, real asset to us. Yeah, so we know, of course, Cameron again, the brother of Serena, so Philippines international heritage player. So, which is pretty, pretty there. interesting that you got uh, Maldita's two, two brothers. forwards, yeah. two forwards, both brothers on the team now. Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's exactly. right. Both of them. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 Really yeah. Interesting. 
Yeah, I don't know if Quezada has a brother, so we can add that to complete the, <laughs> the pairings. I honestly do not know, okay? But yeah, I'll look into okay. that. <laughs> okay. look into that, yeah. Got your coach, and then let's get you back on the show. And then we also got Oscar Delgado. Oscar Delgado. Adam Hello. Stallion. How's it going, Oscar? And then, let me see right here. I think Kainoa was one of the first Kainoa. to come into the stream also. So let's bring him. I think we're going to hit the... Limit already, so kind of a Bailey, of course, familiar That's face, it. familiar name with the Askel's development team. So, coach, who would you like to throw into the fire first in your <laughs> stable? No, um, no pun intended, of course. Yeah, <laughs> well, not, not a lot of people know that actually Kai was training with us uh last year, uh, you know, when, when ADP was still you know on hiatus, so uh. You know, he knows he knows what they expect. You know, with guy Gabe, same thing, Finn, same thing. So Cameron, Cameron, you know, is Serena played with us and Serena's been kind of pushing for us to get Cameron in, in, uh, on board for a long time. So she's really happy, Cameron, when I told her that you're you're finally joining uh and playing in the Philippines. So hopefully, you know, Cameron's still uh, eligible for the U twenty three as well. So oh, wow. okay, okay. You know, that's a that's a good opportunity. And then we got the new, new two new guys here that they haven't experienced all three with Leo. You know, I'm sure you know they, they they've heard a lot of horror stories about how we train and everything. But you know, <laughs> uh, Gabe, Gabe knows Gabe knows how 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 crazy uh, I can get when I get uh, mad. So Gabe I, I keep trying to scare Rafa, but he he just won't uh, scare. I don't know what his thing is. He's just he's just gonna have to see it in person. <laughs> uh, hey Rafa, you know, I, you know, I, my, my game is so simple. If you don't want to run, I just put a whole bunch of money cones right behind you and chase you around the field. I bet you. I'm ready, run. coach. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to be out there. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's awesome. Oh, coach, um, I think I heard from your from Matthew and Sabrina that Placito's not going to be coming back. The guy who's a bulldozer, yeah. ball winner. So I think Silva. Will yes. be that leader now. We saw the two of them like a dynamic duo, just leading mm -hmm. each other as a pair. But can you say that Gabe's gonna be having that main role as an anchor now, overseeing everyone? Yeah, well, we're stallions. I need horses, not bulls. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> stallions. Well, well played, sir. Well played. Personally, Gabe yeah, yeah, has always been rock for us. But I do think as well. I think Cameron. Playing against him, actually being cross-town rivals at one point in college, UCR, CEU, um, from experience, I know that Cameron is a very solid defender, and he brings a lot to the table, especially with Gabe now. Okay, yeah, so it's going to be Cameron and Gabe expected and Gabe. as the center backs. Is that right? The thing about Cameron is he, yeah. has the ability, he has the ability to play the six or, or back in yeah. the, the, as center back. So it gives us some flexibility. Um and obviously, he's a he's a big strong player too. So uh, we're excited, and it and it it get, it frees up an international spot. So it's it's mm -hmm. it's a really good fit for the team. Okay, yeah, and, okay. And, and, nice, and, beautiful. Yeah, and Kai knows that you know I'm gonna unleash him. I'm gonna run, let him run like crazy, you know. So I, my expectation is for him, Finn, Rafa, and these guys, Leo, and and you know Oscar to be scoring goals. You know, at one oh, point, the pressure. in the UFL, yes. my highest scores were my defenders. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's going to change, though, Coach. That's going to change. <laughs> <little. laughs> I'm just putting a little bit of pressure in Kai. I'm just putting a little bit of pressure in Kai. Yeah. Oh, Kai, yeah. Kai will be up there. I love the pressure. I love the pressure. I, yeah. I love so, well, you know, I, I've seen his quality, from... so you know, I know him play. I know Kai can play. Okay, yeah. so of course, Finn and Kai gotta, you know, live, you know, they know that they have their jobs to do. We know that they have what it takes because, you know, as they say, their sisters are gonna take their jobs, as Finn was saying last time. I know the, the girls were saying last the time, girls, they'll take, yeah, they'll take the Finn's girls. job, you know, but yeah. I'm saving that for some other time. But um, maybe we can speak with Cameron or Kai. As, is that what you want us to call you? Uh, yeah, Kai, Kai Noah. Either or, either or is fine. Bailey, I go by all three. Oh, okay, for yeah. kind of well, of course. When I'm pissed, I call him Bailey. Okay. <laughs> oh, when you're pissed, okay. And when does that happen? Uh, all the time. I, I don't when? think he's ever been time. mad at me. I think, I think no, 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 no. Actually, I, that's why I told Clint also. I never had any problems with with. Yeah, yeah, he was training with me because he he always put in the work. He put in the effort, and that 
the least the most important thing. That's right. Mm -hmm. so, so, yeah, so Kai, yeah, so for you, are you ready for this coming tournament, playing with the new guys? Yeah, 1,000%. I'm very happy. I'm very excited. I think that uh, the new additions to the team is going to help out a lot. And, uh, yeah, like, I think our goal this year is definitely to crack the league and join, like, you know, we really want to win this Copa and hopefully go into the, you know, hopefully they'll start the league and we can go into that with, like, a, you know, um, a higher chance of winning the league as well and then move on from there. Yeah. For, you know, kind of let's carry on with you, though. You know, you have experience being around locally already. I think you've been in the Philippines. For some time. Yeah, two years, two years, yeah. Two years. Playing ball, right? So we see it, but we want to hear it from you. Like, what else will you bring to Stallion? Yep. Other than your experience, of course. Right. Because of, of course, everyone's here, everyone here wants to win. We don't have to ask them what's the goal. Yeah, I think uh, just, just um, leadership, um, just new energy, uh, pace. Um, and just excitement, you know, for the fans and something new for the Stallions to see. You know, I think we're going to come out with a, probably a little bit of different style of play, you know, that, now that we have different players. And I think it's going to be exciting for Philippines football to, to see, you know, more teams um, compete with like Kaya and, you know, the Uniteds and things like yeah. that. And I think we're, we're going to be that team that is going to do that. So. Like a Even dark horse. Course. They're going to be the dark horse of the... Yes. If I, the, if I get a dark horse. That's right. Yeah, That's if, right. There you go. If I, if I could interject there just for a minute, too, on, on Kai, I think that um, one of the things Ernie and I identified that, that we'd like to see is is wing backs that get forward but can then control the ball, get the, get the service into the strikers, or go all the way into the Golden Salves. And I think that... Uh, when we've been talking, Finn and and and, and Ernie and, and I, and we identified Kai as somebody who could really help us out in that department. So I think that what he'll bring to that field is that calm composure and control going up and down the sidelines instead of that early longer ball that we're we're maybe moving a little more away from this season, or hoping right. to. So I think that that's that's what we're hoping he brings to the field for us, and I think he will. Yeah, I think Kainua was used in a lot of positions over time. Yeah. I think you can play right back, even played up front for a bit. Um, Coach Ernie, do you have any, um, any plans on where to deploy Kainu or are you see your utility guy? I, I'm going to use him wherever I need him, depending well, on what's I, needed. When he trained with me, I asked him with the practice game, so I played him in different positions. But what, what Kai brings to the team now, actually is attitude. He's got something to prove. Okay, he knows that. You know, I don't even have to explain that to him. You know, he knows that he's got something to prove. So that, to me, is, is the biggest motivation. You know, he, he's got to make the men's national team now. That's you know, right. So he's, he's, you know, he's in that position. Him, Finn, uh, you know, uh, Bolden, you know, Cameron, these guys, that's a challenge that we put forth and the expectation. You know, with Stallions, that's what we're pushing for these guys to, to make it uh, to the national team level. So whatever we have to do, and I feel that if we get to that level, the success and PFL level will follow. You know, right. but definitely every year we always try to challenge for, you know, for for the championship. You know, we're selfish. I'm selfish. I want both. You know, you know, I want both. You know, I, and and when we win, we want to win them all. You know, and <laughs> yep. hey, you know, that's what we're here for, right? We were a bit unlucky uh, last year. You know. Um, but that's that's part of the game, you know. And and sometimes, you know, we and we're hoping that this year luck is on our side. Yes. You know? right. So with the players that we're bringing in, you know, it, it's it's an opportunity for them to showcase their skills, you know, and and actually not just use use Stallions as a platform to introduce uh, themselves to the ASEAN football scene, you know, which is now uh, where. Uh, a lot of uh, you know, ASEAN countries, ASEAN leagues, ASEAN professional teams are looking uh, to the Philippines football league, you know, as a yes. source for talent, you know, uh, you know, for for their own leagues as well. Mm -hmm. That's right, coach. We see a good number of players who are already going to the likes of play Thailand overseas. to play overseas. Yeah. There's even more of Malaysia yeah. now. Of course, one standout who's homegrown is Dato, who went through Stallion, of mm -hmm. course. But I think we can carry on with another player. I think we have Leo. Also, we had. Gabe earlier. Gabe and, and, his, and Leo. 
and yeah. Leo. Yeah, Leo, you think you can tell us like what do you bring to the table suiting up with you know a team like Stallion? Yeah. Um from from what I heard from the from Clay and from Gabriel, this team has a lot of potential. Like the guys that are coming in. Uh Clay told me a little bit about the other guys that are going with us. So we have a lot of talent and what I want to bring to this team is just energy and hard work. Uh, a lot of assists for these guys to score more goals, and hopefully we can win a, like the tournament, the league, and just go from there and see what we can do. Okay, so Gabe's the center back, right? And did you play yeah. the same position or something else, Leo? Oh no, I'm a center mid. I'm attacking. Okay. Mid. center mid. Okay, attacking center mid. Right. He has so we're, 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 yeah, we're expecting a lot of goals from you then and assists. Yeah, Is that correct? Definitely. That's yeah. what I'm trying to bring to the team. Okay. Yeah. Leo should be our assist man. Come in with assist, the assist. Man. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Um, Coach Ernie, um, Balot did not suit up last Copa personal reasons. Will he still be out? Who? Um, You're cutting Balot. off Clara. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah. Balot, Doctora. Yeah, that's that's still something that we're discussing, uh, okay. you know, with with management. Like I said, you know, we we basically are are, are headed towards a different direction, so we want to make sure that we open up opportunities for, especially for the U twenty three kids, and and the, the guys, you know, coming in. So you know, we we have to be able to, uh, you know, understand uh, that there will be changes in in how we do things. But it will be changes that will benefit not just the club owners, but also the players itself. So, you know, I'm not sure yet if 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 Ruben's going to be back uh, uh, on the squad. You know, but he's always been a stallion player, you know, from day one. So, you know, we hopefully we'll get him back sometime soon. Okay. So, Gabe, I guess we'll have that responsibility of running the midfield now, given what you mentioned, alongside you no know, other guys like Nate and holdovers. With Stallion, oh, is that right? For Leo, yeah. For Leo. Oh yeah, for Leo. Leo. Sorry, yeah, for Leo. Sorry, mix yeah, that for up. For Leo, yeah. Gabe, of yeah. course, center back. Yeah, Gabe, how do you feel with a big responsibility? Oh, uh, there was a veteran midfielder who was there yeah. for Stallion for a really long time for Gabe. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think uh, I'm I'm very excited for this year. You know, uh, last year. Losing the semifinal was a little yeah. tough. I, I expected the team to play in the final. I was Since I got there, I was uh, expecting to play against Kyle United. And I think now we have this opportunity. I think the guys that are coming are going to bring um, that's a new personality to the team as well for the, with the players that are there. So... I'm I'm really excited to play again there to win trophies this year and just improve the the team just Great. help all the uh, help all the players there to become better players and out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. How about for um is that that Leo, right? So I'm mixing yeah, you guys Leo. up with the, the camera. Yeah. How about you feel with that big that big responsibility uh, in midfield feel, now? Actually, I feel great. I like to play under that pressure, um, I've been used to it, so uh -huh. I feel great with the opportunity, and I just can't wait to get that and just play with these guys and see what we can do this year. Right. Okay, about great. about you, Leo? I'll, I'll stick with you, Leo. Um, what are the thi uh, things that you hear about the the Philippine football? Is uh, Gabe giving you some advice and some tips? Yeah, or any yeah, YouTube he, videos? Yeah. Yeah, he's been talking to me. We've been just watching videos here and there. With like when we're not doing anything, we just sit over here and just watch videos like from the league. And he's just been telling me it's a great um, competition over there. The teams are pretty good, and it should be fun this year. All right, Bailey, so like, can you know? I was like laughing. What? Why is that? Are you also helping him out? You were like laughing. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I do the same thing. I watch the games all the time. Just all the time. Just always you watch. Yeah. What 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 Gabe and and Leo don't know is that uh, we've had about eight to ten Brazilians ready that play for Stallions, oh, you know, all the way from the UFL days. Even Dan Matsunaga, right, right. You guys, you guys got them straight from Brazil. Huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They came. They they came with the Brazilian models. 
That no, not kidding. I'm not kidding. That wave, yes, in the Philippine football. Kidding. Remember, <laughs> they came up, Claro. They came in with the Brazilian yeah. models. They came yeah. in with the oh, girlfriends. Man. So yeah, <laughs> they're both they're both Brazilian, but both played in the American college system. So oh, okay, okay. I think I think too when we were when we Ernie and I first started looking at all this, just just so everybody's aware, is 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 securing Gabe. Uh, was our my primary target at yes. first? But, uh, getting him yeah. locked down and and happy and, and wanting to be a part of everything we're doing, it was easy. He was he was all in, and uh, that was our our priority number one. From there, we just started building out with the, the squad that's here as as we're going through everybody. But um, Gabe is critical to everything we're doing. Right. So. All right. It's Even very after big. The, the first game that we made, you know, I, I reached out to Clint right away and I said, "We got to get him back for next year." So you know, you even go. during the season, we we made that clear that we wanted them back. Yeah, of course, it's very brings a lot of experience. Of course, um, playing Division One, that's a very high level. So I think we're done with Gabe and Leo and Kainua. Have we gone through with Cameron? I think not yet. Cameron, not yet. Not yet. Right. So Cameron, you're up. So how you feel with this opportunity with Stallion, and okay. what can you bring personally to get that title? Can you, can you hear me or yeah we're good sure. yeah yeah yeah. We can hear. yeah yeah I just want to all these guys here already like Gabe Kai Finn Oscar Rafa these guys are already experienced so I'm just here to support these guys and what you're gonna see is we're gonna look to dominate games now so like you said what Ernie Coach Ernie said that feisty mentality but to explain it more clearly we're looking to dominate games. And all these guys you see here, they're, they're skillful players, and they're looking mm -hmm. to – they're experienced. They have multiple years here, and we're going to look to compete each and every day. So you, you will see it uh, very soon. Okay, okay. so dominate. Are you ready dominate. For, yeah. 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 Are, you, are you ready for Coach Ernie's uh, hard training? <laughs> oh, we're, we're all ready. We're going to have to do it as a team, so we'll all be ready. Okay. Coach Coach I think Coach yeah. approves. <laughs> Coach, Coach approves. We actually live. We actually live in the same city in the U.S. Uh, Cameron. He's also from Milpitas. You know, okay. and, and that's where I came from as well. So, you know, the expectations for him is high. Uh, and he, we actually been trying to get him on board um, since 2018. So I'm really happy that that finally he's here. And like I said, not just for for stallions, but also for our national yeah, team. So team. that's objective, uh, you know, for Finn and, and Cameron. Yes, of course. So dominate, coach, I guess you approve of that, that word to describe what you guys want to do. It. Yeah. I think going back with Cameron, sorry, do we um, ask you your position and like your personal style of play? Uh, right now, center back and oh, right, right. defensive mid, the six. Um, definitely okay. in that position, but we're looking to come – ready to play with numerical numbers, tactical, we're coming to ready to play. Coming ready to play. So hard hard like, work. Like you, you you understand this, I know. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Same that's thing on the field. Determined. Yeah. Hard work, you know, that's like the simplest way to describe stallion. And of course we get into detail and that's where you start to see, let's say the hell in training. Of course. Yeah. We want it to be hard in the beginning. So we'll be ready. Stallion and those a lot of stamina. Oh okay. Right. There you go, right. Coach Ernie. Are Coach you, Ernie. They're ready. <laughs> they're, they're ready. They're ready. Ready for hell. Ready for hell in training. Okay. Hell to our training week. <laughs> that yeah. that first. He's just before, smiling. That's scary. The game. He's just I know, smiling. right? He's just smiling. That's scary. <laughs> I know, right? Coach is gonna. Uh, Coach Ernie's gonna up his training, as we know. Yeah, you know, these guys are not gonna come here, uh, and you know, not being prepared. That's the one thing that's important, mm -hmm. you know. And even with with Gabe last year and, and Kai. They came in, they were in shape, you know, so yes. it was very easy for me to work with them. And, you know, same thing with Cameron. He knows what to expect, you know, he knows what to do. You know, it's not like they never played that with, with you know, a high level, you know, uh, before. So it's nothing new to them, you know, football is football, you know, like you said, you know, so, but we're going to put a little bit twist on the whole thing and we're going to try to do our possession the stallion way. Uh, which is fast you know right. we're, we're not going to wait for you to, to get back in shape you know, you know so that's what we want to do you know that's why we're horses right you know, we, 
we're going to run for 90 plus minutes. That's, that's, that's always been our style of football. You know, we're going to run with the ball. You know, we're not just going to throw the ball forward and, and chase the ball. We're just going to keep running. I mean, you guys already said, you know, you, you saw the <laughs> fastest guy in the U23 right there in front of you. So I got to use that speed. But hopefully he can shoot like a sister. I had to put that in there. <laughs> or he gets replaced by the sister, as they said already. But yeah. let's go with Cameron. I'm sure you've been doing your homework, YouTube, doing your research. But I, we can say you have the advantage of talking to your sister, too, with what she knows about the local yeah. scene. Did she give any advice or share like her scouting report with you with what's up here? So I've always followed up with my sister because uh, she's the first the one that started all this. So, um, mm. and it's, you know, it's International Women's Day. So, you know, it's great yes. to see that right. you can see that's my sister and she's doing it on that side um, at a very high level. And then you assume to see on this level, we're going to look to bring a high level. So, um no, it's just it's good uh, experience, good knowledge to get from my sister. To so when I get there, I'll be ready to. We'll look to win. And be ready, locked and loaded. Of locked course. and loaded. Yeah. Is it going to be a first time here? Okay. First visit. Uh, first, yes. first visit. Yes, this will be my first time. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just to we'll ask get, something. Yes. Go ahead, Phil. I just want to say, um, both me and Cameron have very qualified sisters, as we all know, Serena, yeah. Olivia Chandler. But let's just get one thing straight here. Oh. Me and Cameron will be known as the better McDaniel, McDaniel Bolden duo. <laughs> okay. <trio>. Okay. <laughs> they are feeding us. He, he better or else we're taking the number eight jersey back. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I like this, yeah. I think I think Finn Cameron, when you guys come, I still think you need to try your balut or any of that stuff. But let's get no. it to let's get to it some other time. You'll have to Claudia, me. I'm, not, no. I'm not doing it. No. All right, <laughs> Claudia, you want to do the honors with Rafael and we have Oscar. I think yeah, about two. uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, but guys, stay tuned. We have more oh, players wait. coming in. Okay, we have a second round. We're yeah. coming up with some substitutions at halftime. Flying subs. Yeah. Well, We're doing flying subs. Okay, for this. This one, Coach Ernie wanted okay, to bring so up the team to show who's who's gonna you know be giving us that excitement. How do you take it away? Yeah. Okay. So, Raf, tell us more about yourself. So, uh, what position you play, and what do you think you'll bring to the Stallions, and what do you want Filipino fans to see you as, like a fighter or or someone who can score um, goals? Yeah. Well, I'm just really want to say thank you for the opportunity. You know, for Coach Clint for having me go overseas and play with these group of guys. And I think uh, my position is striker and a cam. I play the nine or the 10. And, like, I think I can bring, like, composure, good decision-making, very good soccer. And, like, how Coach Clint, he wants to shift away from the long ball. And I think we can um, achieve that with these group of guys that are coming in. All right. Okay, so, Coach Ernie, how did you discover Raf? You have to or talk Clint. Clint. That's Coach Clint. Okay, yeah, go Coach Clint. Yeah, so it's actually when it comes to me, <laughs> when it comes to uh, Oscar, Rafa, and and Finn, they all played for me growing up. So these I've seen these guys go from four foot something all the way up to their height now, which just around six foot for all of them, and they've uh, they grew and matured on on our Corinthians club team here. All of them have played college since and then pursued different things. But um, you have right here these three as, as part of the attacking squad that um, took to the Corinthians all the way up and to very high rankings in, in, in the whole the whole nation here. So Rafa is, like you said, he's a center attacking mid or a, or a, a striker. But what he brings is he, he's, he's – Rafa scores goals. There's no way to stop Rafa from scoring goals. I, I think it was quite comical. They're here and had some free time, and they're playing in a 77 league to, to stay sharp. And Rafa played on a different team than Finn. And Finn played with some of the other players, like with Oscar and, and another player, Poncho, that would, which would have completed our, our club attacking. Uh, so three of our club attackers on Finn's team wow. and one and Rafa on the other. And they were back and forth. They One team would score, Rafa would score. 
the team would score, Rafa would score. The team would score, Rafa would score. And between Poncho, Oscar, and Finn, they were they were all scoring, but Rafa by himself single-handedly kept his team in that game. So I think that's the kind of thing, the reason that uh, Rafa's – Rafa's on the list, and why I wanted to take him over there is—is is he truly scores goals? Got to do Right. So, a lot of so firepower. Rafa, are you, are you, yes. Yeah, there's a lot of firepower. You got you got uh, Finn and and Raf. So Raf, um, it's gonna be your first time to play in the Philippines. Come here. What are you expecting? What are the fans, uh, gonna say when they first see you? Uh, I mean, they should probably expect a lot from us coming from the U.S. You know, having that great soccer out here. But I think what the fans could expect from me is just great soccer, you know, just really good decision making, playing the ball possession wise, and then when to find the long ball, you know, it's just decision making for me and how to play right, you know. I think that's and what I can bring to the to... table. All right. Are you ready for Coach uh, Ernie's uh, run? I could say run and gun football. Um, I'm not a big fan of running, but I'll be ready though. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be ready. For, I'll be ready for that. I'll be ready for that. Oh, uh, oops. Oh, sorry. Yeah, he's ready to run. He's ready to run. Yeah, I'll be, I'll okay, be ready that's any in my way. I'll be ready for it. Okay, I'm really excited. So it's Ernie. The yeah, there you go. Yes. He's not ready. <laughs> he's all ready for your running gun. Well, Kai's gonna kick his ass if he's if he's not ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, I just met Kind One now, but I know the guy puts in the work. I know he's friends with Quincy. Quincy's one of the guys we're friends with too, of course. So great, hardworking yes. bunch, as we see. Yeah. Claudia, we All right. have okay, I Rafa think, and Oscar. Uh, I think. One more. Yeah, Oscar. Yeah. Oscar Delgado. Hello. Last one. Tell us more about yourself, your position, um, and what do you think you can bring to the table? Uh yeah, I'm a I'm a winger, forward, striker, center attacking mid, center mid. Uh, I could play a lot of different positions, and uh, yeah, I'm just I'm really excited to to get out and uh, to join the guys. I think we're all like minded. We're looking to to go out and win this year. Um yeah, I'm just I'm I'm really excited, and I want to say thank you. We're not going for for second place. We're going for first. Uh. Are you, are you, are you, um, are you, when are you coming back to the Philippines? I mean, coming, flying to the Philippines for all of you, uh, actually. Yeah, these are all leaving yeah, Friday. Yeah. yeah, they're all leaving yeah, as far Friday. as I know, we're all leaving on Friday. Yeah, okay, for a few days. Wow. If, yeah. if I'm to add one thing about this Go guy, ahead. Oscar, it's that my whole life, <clears throat> I've never had more someone i look up to and be more of a rival than oscar ever since he came on the team and i've ever since i've been playing with him i've only thought of him as the guy i gotta beat and we're on the same team so no matter what he if he was scoring a goal you best believe i was getting either two goals or two assists he's he's a very big reason in my play to where i'm at and i'm very grateful and happy i can finally play with him again so no I'm more so grateful sounds good yeah no. There's no more. Oh no, he's my. Yeah, he's just no my kissing opponent. on the pitch no between no, yeah. the both of you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no more rivalry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so there's that really, how okay, long have I don't been... have to. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, how long have it been rivals, uh, Finn? Or like playing I'd, against each other? I'd say since we yeah. were like 14, 15. We're playing yeah, together. We're together. They're, 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 the, they're the two wingers. We were together. I just oh, together. Okay. played really well together. If they, he scored, I got I wanted to show him up. I, so. I'd say that if, if if you made a comparison between Oscar and Finn, you could say they're a match set. They're they go really well together. They uh they complement each other a lot. So you had someone like Rafa driving hard down the middle, you'd have Finn and, and Oscar complimenting that right down the flank. So that was, that was the old model. So we'll see what happens now. Finn's kind of more in that striker role as well. So, but Oscar is, if I could describe him in one word, it would be slippery. He, he, he has, uh, he has ability to become that ball. Okay. So now it's like, okay. Yay. I'm teammates. Now there's that relief. With yes. that time, they they've, always, they've, no, they've been teammates. They've always been teammates. They've always been teammates. Oh, okay, okay, right, right. Yeah. The rivalry. Yeah. 
never, never again. Each other. Come wrong. Okay, I thought there was yeah. a moment you split. But, yeah, sorry about no, that. But I in all in all seriousness, every guy here we've worked very hard to get, starting from Gabe, who I played at college with, one of the best center backs I've ever seen, going to Kai, who I've been trying to convince ever since I first met him. <laughs> Kai's Kai's a great player. Ever since I met him, they're like, oh, there's another American. I was like, yeah, let's get a stallion. Going to Cameron, obviously, Bolden McDaniel. It's only fair that they get the men's side to do it this time. Right. To Leo, who I just met, but I know is an outstanding player. And Rafa as well. This is a this is gonna be a team to be reckoned with. This is a team that is ready to pursue only trophies. Ooh. Only it's trophies. So, only, only trophies. trophies. It should be fun. It should be fun. Yeah. My, it's, it's my question now. That's all right. So my question now is, Coach Ernie, how are you going to put all these guys together okay. and make it a cohesive team so you'll reach that goal? You'll win the Copa, you win the league. What's your thoughts on that? Because Finn just met Leo. Um, I'm sure the rest probably didn't, haven't seen each other. What's your take? Well, football's a common language here, right? Yeah. All these guys love to play the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to do whatever we have to for them to be able to express their talents. Okay. My, my job as a coach uh, is easy in that way, but it's also difficult because then, you know, I can only play 11 players at one time. Then in the pitch was the goalkeeper. You know, that's why I rely on, on, on Clint a lot to, you know, to tell me about these guys, to find these guys. And, you know, some of them I've met, some of them have played with us already. So, you know, expectations now, uh, you know, we, we've been kind of waiting for this opportunity for Stallions for a while. Uh, we've been a little bit unlucky with, with uh, players leaving and uh, players getting injured. You know, uh, you know, two years ago uh, when Finn, Finn started playing with us, we had that short season in 2020. Uh, and then what happened? You know, you know, we had players getting COVID and then we ended up last. You know, for somebody who hates losing, we were last, so that I, I I took that personally, you know, and I said this is never never gonna happen to us again. So you know, hopefully you know uh, this coming season things will be a lot lot better than it was the previous seasons, and we're headed towards the right direction. Uh, last year we were third. Uh, if it wasn't for uh, my strikers not missing those goals, we would have been able to fight for the finals. <laughs> Hey, it is you what know. it is. It oh, is what it that's is. yours, isn't it? Yeah, I have to remind them of that, right? You know, Gabe got so pissed that he almost scored. Right, right. He was so pissed that these guys yes. couldn't score, right, Gabe? He, 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 he oh, from the back, it. he just countered all the way down the middle. Yeah, Unfortunately, he missed the goal, too. <laughs> I look good. I look promising. That look run look promising. Yeah, I, I remember that. I was like, oh, how did he yeah, miss it? I know. Get shady oh, in here. God. There's a lot of shade yeah, in here. Yeah. I, I know. So and and that with you know, I mean, I got to give my hats off to Quincy. I mean, that that yeah. save with Nathan and Finn. I mean, that was can do anything about it, you know. So and then you know, I I think in the in a in a battle for third, I, I I honestly believe that Finn just wanted to piss me off. That's why he hit the crossbar. <laughs> you know, he just wanted me to kind of you know. Because he, was, he, was, he was going crazy. You know, he was when he got injured, he was going, I'm not done. I'm not done. Don't take me out. I said, I don't give a shit. You're not going out. You're staying <laughs> in. I don't care if you can walk. You're staying <laughs> in. You're playing. <laughs> so, you know, so that that's how it was. So when we were, you know, when we, you know, and they were practicing penalties. Okay. We, we knew it was going to go to penalties. So they were practicing yeah. penalties. So hopefully this year we don't have to go through that anymore. You know, hopefully yeah. with, with, with the players exactly. that we're bringing in that we can kind of, you know, in, and really show everybody the stallion way of playing. And that's what I'm right. excited about. Uh, the local guys who you'll be meeting later and in a few minutes, they've been yeah. training ready for the past three weeks. Nice. Uh, everybody's kind of, you know, uh, excited, to, waiting for these guys. Every, every day these guys are asking, when are they coming? When are they coming? When are they coming? So, yeah. you know. <laughs> You know, hopefully today we'll we'll get we'll get the housing all settled. You know, you know if not, Finn's gonna end up staying with me. So oh, no. we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> with Delamundo, no rest. No rest. Just so long as so long as you have Delamundo, uh, all of us are gonna be staying. Right. 
I already have a Bailey in the house. You know that? You have a Bailey in the house? Yeah. Well, this get is, ready for your second he's one. He's an American bully. <laughs> he's an American bully. <laughs> <laughs> I already have Bailey now, so he's ready there. So, but no, I'm just kidding aside. I think this is going to be a a good season, you know. So, you know, like I said, um, you know, with with Cameron coming in, where you know there's a lot of expectations. Sorry, Cameron, but you know your sister set the bar so high. You know, with that bold and last name, there's expectation. You know, and same thing with Finn. What can I say? You know. <laughs> It's two against one. It doesn't matter. It's two against one. We got to wait for Declan to get up so they'll be two and two, you know. <laughs> and, and and Kai, Kai, my expectation is a big year. He knows that. Right. You know, right. You and I, 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 I look forward to seeing that full Kai Bailey being able to play mm -hmm. the whole season, you know, and, and breaking into the, you know, the Ascos roster. So, you know. Nice. Um, that's the expectation. I'm, I've been on – that's why I've been – going back and forth on my phone because I had chatting with Coach Scott, you know, while we were talking and, you know, getting ready for the, the Ascos friendly in, in Singapore. So I'm going to be going with, with, with the team, uh, you know, with Ascos to Singapore and hopefully we'll be able to, you know, do some good things there. And then, uh, you know, with, with, with new role that, that NBA gave me with the national team, uh, hopefully we'll be able to help the U23 as well. You know, for the women's team, we're always going to be there. We're always going to be behind supporting Coach Allen and then the girls. We're always going to be, you know, looking for players that we can actually field and, and introduce to Coach Allen and see what, we, you know, we can make this team stronger. But, you know, overall, Philippine football this year, it, it's starting off in the right foot, you know, with, with the girls setting up the tone and, and winning and the U23 doing really well in the AFF. So we're expecting – Big things, you know, in the future for Philippine football. Beautiful. And we're we're far we're from done. We're, that, yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're, have our substitutes done in a bit. Yes, Claudio, yeah, you want to got, say before? I no, we're start. looking forward for the for 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 all of you to be playing on the uh, on the pitch soon. Huh? So uh, the kickoff is gonna be in March thirty one. March thirty one. March thirty one. In two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. So against you know, UCFC. Yeah, Ooh, big game. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, is that okay. the team that you're looking forward to playing? No, no, it's always been, you know, everybody always talks about, you know, all these, the, the biggest rivalry in, in Philippine football is always Cayenne Stallions. It's been there since day one. You know, they we we owned them first first part of the UFL, then they owned us after that. So, you know, it's 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 payback time. There you go. You know, it's Ooh, payback time. Wait. So, so that's how you, you hype know, me and Paul, we always have this thing, you know, and, and every time we lose to them, I say, yeah, you, we lost to you because you got, you, got, you got our players. You got Stallion players on the high team. <laughs> so I, I, always, I always joke about that. So, you know, hopefully that's why I said, no, not, not this time around. I'm not releasing anybody. Right. Okay, so. and no transfer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, there, there's some kids who are we're loaning to ADT. You know, okay. so just we okay. want him to be able to make the you know C game squad in the U19. So you know, it's it's a friendly rivalry between all the PFL clubs. You know, and, and right. it, it's I'm so happy. We're gonna have a, a, a by the way, we're gonna have a press con. I think with the PFL in the next few days, yeah. uh, just announcing you know all the teams and making sure that everybody's aware that we're here, that nobody folded. You know, that we're actually yeah. seven teams participating. And I'm sure uh, our uh, I don't want I don't want to preempt what Coco's going to be announcing. Okay, I'm I'm so okay. tempted, Claudia, but I'm going to leave that to uh, commissioner. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. going to leave that to commissioner to do. That's not the uh, controversials but, that we want yeah. to have here. I thought you no, like no. hard. I thought you like mentioning the hard questions, mm -hmm. controversial stuff, coach. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. just kidding, of course. Just yeah, kidding. but <laughs> the, 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 these I, I'm I'm trying to be nice to these guys, you know. Right, I'm, I'm trying to give a positive image to my new players. <laughs> they, they, they don't know that I'm, I'm one of the biggest assholes in Philippine football. So, yeah, give it, you know, give it the warm up. They'll they'll be don't, fine. Don't out. worry, Ernie. I already told uh, them. Thanks a lot. I gave, yeah. Dave knows that. Dave knows that already. So, <laughs> uh oh, he's okay. like, yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. You know, these guys yeah. flying in, they have one long flight over the Pacific Ocean to run through the scouting report of how Coach Ernie runs them to death. 
to achieve victory. Uh, so <laughs> I'm, I'm, we'll I'm sending in, in a few hours. I'm going to send Clint the, the game model for the season. So they mm-hmm. they've got some reading material to you know to go through before they you know before they land. So okay. you know, when, once they land, we'll we'll give them a couple of hours to recover, and then we'll. we'll Couple yeah, of we'll hours, <laughs> <laughs> young guys. Okay. Oh my god, young guys. Okay, they're all in shape, you know. So yeah. we'll see. I mean, you know, it's it's it, this will be an exciting season for Stanley. You're gonna see a lot of new faces, you 100%. know, and you've seen part of them now. You'll see the other half you know, in a few minutes. So yeah. you know, yes, I'm just happy that that these guys decided to be part of what we're building because it's really something that that. Uh, Philbert, Clint, and I have kind of looked forward to for the past few years. We've been trying to get Clint on board for like the past six, seven years. You know, so oh, finally now he's, he's part of the team. <laughs> he's, he's part of the headache that we're, you know, we can pass some of the headache along to him. <laughs> okay. And, and he, he, he's, taking, he's taking it pretty well, you know. That's so. good. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you uh, trained me already in the Malditas. <laughs> I know exactly. <laughs> Great. So I think we can wrap up the first group. First. Yes. So we have them laid out right here. So we have Cameron, we have Finn, and then we have Kainwa. So these are players, of course, who are eligible to play as local players right. as they are That's Filipinos. Right. Cameron, just sorting out, you're just sorting out your paperwork. And then some of the foreign players we have coming in. We have Gabe returning. Okay. And then we got yep. we got Leo, uh, one of the young uh, new guns. We got Rafael, and then we got Oscar. Yep. So, Oscar I think we wrapped up the first group. And then Coach will be making our yes, substitution sir. already. I think other players mm-hmm. can start coming in. So, guys, right. thanks a lot for your time to the first group. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you for having me. See you guys in a few days. Right. Yes. Catch okay. you guys soon. Okay. That's All right. Cool. You can just, yeah, I can just yep. close it actually. Yep. Well, coach, I mean, it's been some time already, and it's a lot to cover with these players. Well, it's you've like, got you've got a lot of content ready, then you know. So that's a lot, a lot of, of content, asking, yeah. coach. Uh, yeah, I've been asking about Stallion. So we we were quiet the whole year last year. Mm-hmm. You know, we really didn't say much. Yeah. You know, you're making we a buzz now. Looking forward, yeah, buzz. you're looking forward to to this year. We've been planning this for a while, and you know, Clint's been working really hard. You know, to get these players on board, so you know, well done. Uh, you know, yes. so yes. especially some, some with, more than you know, others. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some more than yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, but we're there, we're there now, so you know, this is going to be exciting. It is. It's you seem yeah. to have a very strong team. Uh, I can't wait them to be really everyone on the same same pitch and uh, mm-hmm. see uh, Finn and Oscar uh, yeah, rival with our yeah. teammates. Yeah. yeah, hopefully you'll see Clint, you know, on the coaching bench pretty soon also. He's oh, getting a C wow. license, you know, he's getting a C license okay. online. So, you know, he'll he'll be here soon and he'll be coaching us on the all threats again. from this guy. It's all threats all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get your corned beef, Coach Clint. <laughs> that's the gas. That's the gas of your kids. That's what keeps them running. That's yeah, I mean, right. you're having such a great chat. I wanted to ask the, the players in the previous group, one opponent, who stands out to them, but I think with the time that's been taking, we have to move on to the second group. I think the these are the group. players who are training already in the Here. Philippines. So yep. we have two of them already. I can bring them in already, Claudia. A familiar name, yep. of course, in Ron Bayan. Ron. And then we got Charles Pickering. I pronounce uh, your name that's, right. That's Ron and uh, Martini. Ron and oh, Martini. Okay. Okay, hello. 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 okay. Oh, there's three of them. Hello. And, uh, no, that and Sherwin. That's, right. that's Sherwin. Oh. Sherwin. Okay. Yeah. Pwede i landscape. Ron, ba- Kayo... landscape? Then uh, baka pwede i edit yung name? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Coach, I think Ron is a keeper. Um, he was competing with Ceres. I think even UCFC for a point in time, if I am not mistaken. So... Did you change up your keeper roster? Um, um, Ken James added, last we added, night. Yeah, we added Ron uh, Bayan to the... He was actually supposed to be with us since last year. Okay. But then his wife wouldn't let him play. So... <laughs> Family <laughs> reason. <laughs> so now, finally, he's, he's with us. So, 
Beautiful. We have right, uh, yeah. another one, Claudio? Yes, group? We have, I think we have Justin, familiar name. Hey, guys. Justin oh, and Mix. Mito, hey, Mito. Oh. Hey, Ben, what's up, bro? Mito, Mito. <laughs> so it's the reunion here. It's a reunion. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, so we need some bread rolls. Yeah, we got to get the bread rolls. <laughs> okay. So this is the second group, of course, as we'll carry on. You know, Finn, your rivalry with earlier, I think. Who's the other team? So many Oscar, names. Oscar, Oscar. Oscar, your rivalry yeah. as teammates was so intense for a moment. I thought you played against each other for a moment. So that's how crazy no, yeah, it is. Always, always on the same team. Right. He just he made me want to be better. Okay. So that's the healthy internal rivalry, of course. And we like to see that, definitely. And then, um, so we have Ron. So, Coach, um, did we lose any keepers since Ron will be coming in? I think there was Ken and is that Pepito last season? Yeah, Sunday? Ken, Pepito, and Abraham, Saldi. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. We, we, we decided to keep four keepers just because, you know, we brought in so many strikers that yes. I, I think these keepers, some of them are going to get injured just during training. Oh. So we said, shoot, we gotta bring in, we gotta bring in another one because, man, you know what, what, what we expect to happen if it happens, then you know, we gotta make sure that our keepers are are healthy enough for the matches, you know. So, That's right. Yeah. That's a lot of work. Sure. In training. So yeah. A lot of work for them. All right. Let's see. Yeah, There's one I, more. We have one more. Yes, we got Junior Munoz. Another yeah. name. Familiar name. Former rascal. Hey, Junior. Hi, guys. Hello, how are you? Good, good. good. Thank you. Thanks a lot for the time. But yeah. We can carry on with the other players who came on earlier. So in Ron's camera, we have Ron and then Sherwin. And then who's the last player? Sorry. Martini. Martini's in the middle. Okay. So maybe we can go Martini. Um, Musta naman. And how's it going with Stallion as of late? Ah, uh, okay naman po siya. Excited and yun. Feeling ko, nagiging condition na rin dahil sa training. Nagiging magaling na rin. Okay. And then... Yung training, yung training no, malamang takbuhan talaga. <laughs> ah, okay. medyo... <laughs> <laughs> Coach, medyo lang daw yung takbohan So, oh kulang pa ba? Sabi mo yan, ha? Uh, Martini, ha? Sherwin, siya nagsabi medyo, ha? So, dagdagan natin, ha? Siya nagsabi, ha? Justin, wala na akong ano Sabi niya, ano? Medyo lang daw, eh Nagot, oh, nagot It's enough, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. Okay, <laughs> okay Justin's here to save the team Finn was saying it was a bit easier with the way he was getting killed in state's training So, Coach, will find that balance um, ikaw ba to? Martini? I think we have the slides. Yeah, that's Ayan, it. Yeah, there. So, homegrown player and or Martini, how does it feel? Na so big leagues ka na with a team like Stallion. Uh, for me, it's uh, parang dream siya. Kasi for many years, uh, inantay ko maging pro din. Dati nanonood lang ako ng, ano, ng games ng Stallion, yung champion pa nila. During that time, nagkampan sila sa ano nun eh, sa Barotak, sa hometown ko. So parang, it's very inspiring kasi dati na nanonood lang ko ngayon, nandito na ako sa team. Nabutan ko pa nga sila, ano nun sila, Kuya Nate, pa sila Kuya Matt na naglalaro natin. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Parang full circle na nga talaga. Cause, and it's nice, taga Barotak ka, the hotbed of football in the Philippines. So, if you don't know what the Tagabarota is, you don't know what the Tagabarota is. Of course, coach, with the, yeah. with the connection. Kaya ka sake, di ba? Atini, kaya ka sake, di ba? Oh. Oh, ba? Oh. Yung, stallion. stallion was founded in Barota Nuevo. So, we will always nice. have players from Barota Nuevo. And then there's that Red Horse part, coach, right? Hence the Stallion. Exactly. Hence the Stallion. Yeah, yeah. That, that's Verdict Italia and Bulldog. Well, they, they can drink Red Horse for two straight days without getting drunk. <laughs> and can they, can they train the next day? Or find the oh, back yeah, of the net? That's in between training, okay? They're drinking in between training, so, man. 
those guys can those guys can drink. Oh, and anyway. Junior Junior Munoz knows that. You know, he Junior <laughs> Munoz played for us, you know, a while back. So it was nice yeah, today yeah, yeah. that our, our referee for today's match was actually his former teammate in Stallion. Yeah. Pelayo. <laughs> Milton Pelayo. So it was a good, oh, okay. it was a nice reunion yes. for them. Wow. Oh, wow. It's great seeing things with you know all the developments of the league and of the club. But we have, I think Sherwin is the last in the camera of Ron. So in we the can left go or in the right? Let's see. Yeah, see. it's Bayan on the right and Bayan's then on Sherwin the right. on the left. Sherwin, Sherwin yeah. I am. Sherwin. Okay. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Claudio, you want to take it away with Sherwin? Go Sherwin. So you go Sherwin. Ano, uh, what ano yung position mo for those that are watching now? Madam, mo na Tell us yeah, so. more about the. Uh, yeah, yes. may slide kami actually ready for you. Yeah. Ayan. Pero kailangan sure win nasa gitna ka para gitna ka. Yes. Gitna ka nang ka. Ayan, sige. Ayan, parang parang kayong weave. Yeah. Parang stallion <laughs> midfield free flowing very uh, fluid, weave. no? Yun. Ayan, sure win. Sige. Anong anong expectation namin sa iyo pagdating sa sa Copa? Yeah. Kanan pa, sure win. Sa kan. Sige, Sherwin, huwag ka mahiya. Oh, Coach, well, nahiya ko, Sherwin. Expectations, nahiya. Anong expectations mo, Sherwin? Excited ka ba? Or takot? Excited. Excited. Um, Naligo pa yan para lang sa interview na ito. <laughs> Kung nga, Coach, maayos pa yung buhok. Oh, okay lang yan, Sherwin. We'll, we'll bring Ernie, you back uh, here. Coach Ernie, nahiya pa ito, ha? Oh, mga Dapat Coach. Ba? Siguro hindi na ka makahinga kasi mahaba laro niya kanina, no? Matini. Kasi pinatakbo namin na pinatakbo kanina eh, si Sherwin kaya nagre-recover pa. Pero another Iloilo boy yan si Sherwin. So he's also with FEU and I, I want to thank ano uh, you know Coach Bube and Vin Santos and FEU for allowing both these players to play for us. Just so you know, uh, you know these guys also with with Justin and, and Migs that you're going to introduce later on. They're on amateur contracts uh, with okay. Stallions. So that it does not conflict with their, you know, uh, ability to play in the UAP and then in Justin's case in the US, right. you know. So uh, that's one of the things that we we did, and right. that's important is for us to be able to allow them to play. And hopefully, if the UF, if the UAP, you know, uh, comes back, then they'll still be able to play, uh, you know, uh, this season and next season. That's right. Mm -hmm. So it's great okay. too for the development of these kids that they're very young, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, Martini so, was part was supposed to be part of the U23 also with with Finn and Justin, but unfortunately, uh, he he did not pass the COVID test that when he arrived. So that was unfortunate oh. for him. But uh, you know, he, he he's also on our pool of players for the Sea Games. So you know, hopefully that he'll be able to break into that squad as well. Of course, another chance. Okay. It's it's tough these days, of course, with COVID. Yeah. Next thing you know, you're just out of the tournament or out for yes. a few games. Yes. But I think we can wrap up with the group of Ron. Just one okay. question to wrap it up, of course. Ron, um, sabi ni coach, you're supposed to play no uh -huh. last season with Stallion. So, oh, well, kumusta yung feeling? Kumusta yung feeling na, okay, set na talaga, naka-line up ka? Oh, po. Kasi nung last year po, ano eh, one of twins ko, <laughs> okay. Mm, ano? Yung nagbabantay kaya ano? Walang ta walang ano? Walang magbabantay. Kaya hindi ko rin ah. maiwan. Okay. Pero this year po okay. Pwede na. Pwede ka na maglaro. Allowed ka no. na mabasa. Pwede na. Na, siya, na, siya, na siya sa ano, sa sa, bin, sa Binion House namin. Nandun na sila. Nakasama sila doon. So. Are there now? They're there now. They're all of them. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. So, we have a player's house in Binyan. Okay. Uh, that's where some of the players stay. Oh, that's good. Okay. It, it makes them get to know each other. Next uh, to their, next to the stadium also, I guess, or very yeah. near. Very yeah. near. Yeah, and, and Finn, Finn got a house there also in the same village, just a couple of streets away. So, you know, so everybody's yeah, going close together. Yeah. It'll make it, make it, uh, you know, they learn their chemistry actually by just uh, getting to know each other by living together. Check. Or they'll get in trouble. Oh. That's what these used to do. Yeah, uh, the ho the homeowners association called me last time, you know, a few years ago, with oh with Carlo Poli, because he was drunk with Bervik, and they decided to 
to take their BMX and jump into the pool with their bicycle. With their, with oh, their my bike. God. Yeah, exactly. So oh the homeowners God. association called me and Tito Filbert, and it was it was good that Tito Filbert actually knows the guy who's in charge of the homeowners association. And not only that, the, the, the Binyan mayor lives in the same village. <laughs> oh, my God. He lives in the same village. So, you know, but... No, they, these guys, you know, the, the you know, the mayor, they they just love standing players because they've been really helpful inside the village also, and uh, good inspiration with with the local kids and everything. So, yes. yeah. okay. Of course, coach, you know, you like your team would get involved with the community, especially before yes. COVID. We'd see all of the activities, and the young kids, of course, can see, oh, Stallion, these are the guys representing us. So there's that sense of identity when they see you guys hit the pitch, especially in your home stadium. So I think that's done with the, the crew of the Ron, crew Bayern. Of Ron Bayern. Yes, yep. I'll just move him down. So next we got Justin Pena and Migs. Migs. Guys, welcome to the show. Guys. And, Hello. You know, what is it going through your head? Is it excitement or are you guys nervous with suiting up with such a historic team? We can go with Justin first if you want. Anyone. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm really excited and I can't wait to play and always work hard for the team and get results with the players, especially with Finn coming from the U23s and can't wait to play with Finn, yeah, and everyone else. Right, I you were say, in the Yeah, you were in the team, yeah. Go ahead, Finn. I'll say with Justin, Justin was by far my favorite player to play with on the under-23s. Me and him connected very well, so I'm very glad I can play with him one more time and hopefully more. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's a course. good problem. Yeah, I can't wait for that. That's fun. Oscar as a teammate might get jealous with the connection. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, don't care. <laughs> oh, I got a, I got a question for, for Justin. Justin, right. um, prior to you coming into the show, there was a lot of uh, players from overseas. Are, are you excited to play alongside yeah. too? Um, and are, are you familiar with the, the style of play that they have, uh, given that, say, Finn has been telling you about these guys? Yeah, I mean, I played, like, just around, like, when there was, like, kind of lockdown. Like, we would play, like, small-sided. And I played against Kai a couple of times. So, it's fun. It's just more fun. But, like, I can't wait, you know, just to meet all these guys and learn from everyone. You go, right, you see your credentials right here. Where did you study? Um, I, were you b born oh, and raised here, I guess? In, Huh, come again, sorry. Yeah, I think you're born and raised here in Metro Manila. Yeah, yeah. Where do you study? Yeah, in I studied in La Salle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's why you're a familiar face and name. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, he played for Coach Hans. <laughs> <laughs> Good coach, okay. just like Matt and Nathan. I, there, coach Hans. <laughs> I know. That's why I said unfortunately. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. how was that like playing for Coach Hans, Justin? Oh, Coach Hans, I enjoyed playing under him because, like, he, he, I think it's a, uh, some people will not, like, understand how he coaches, but I enjoy it because he pushes each one of us to our limits and he's a, uh, he's someone you could talk to anytime and he's a good, a good guy. So right. a legendary coach to another legendary coach. I'm not taking a dig at Coach Ernie, okay? I'm doing it with the credentials, of course, of Coach Ernie. So how's it now, working with another another big name, Coach Hans? Check, Coach Ernie? Check. Is that how you can say it? Co coach, I like playing with that. It's I like Coach Ernie, like the way he teaches us. Like a while ago during the game, he was telling us like he was telling us about how every day is a is a new day to start, and you can give your best, and you you can take a lot from what these coaches tell you, and especially because. As a young player, you can learn a lot. Yeah. Of course, right. you're one of the young prospects coming in. And Coach, of course, mentioned earlier, he likes to bring in talent and give a lot of people opportunities. Claudia? Okay, now well, let's go to... Oh, sorry, Coach Ernie, go ahead. Yeah, well, I've known Justin since he was a baby. You know, I, I know his mom, I know his dad, I know his grandparents. You know, that's how much I've known this kid. So I know his, his uncles and aunts. So we've known each other for a long, long time. So... Him and his so dad, coach his Ernie actually the one that helped me prepare for the before I went to the US. Coach Ernie okay. was a big like always getting he, he was the one that pushed me 
and get me ready for the game in the U.S. He was telling me how you got to be more, like, when I was in high school, he was telling me, yeah, you got to be quicker, stronger, and he was the one that helped me that get all my, like, to get, to adjust to the play in the U.S. And I think uh, Coach Ernie's been scouting you yeah. since you were a kid. Yes. yes. <laughs> Claudia will move on with Migs, I believe. Yes. Migs, what about you? Uh, tell us more about yourself, uh, where you play, and... Um, yeah, there's a bit of scratching. I'm not sure where it is, but do you hear? Do you, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Mix? Yeah. I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, um. Yeah, my name is Mix De Mesa, and I play for the UP men's football team. And yeah, I grew up with Justin as well. I went to La Salle, and I was under Coach Hans as well. Yeah. Good All right. Stuff. And did Coach Ernie also train you? When you or scout you as a kid. Uh, this, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is first, this I first uh, entry into. <laughs> he he doesn't even know that I played for UP. <gasps> oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> coach Ernie's mentioned that before. Yeah. Okay, I heard coach okay. mention the pala. Yes. So, I, so how... he knows, he knows yeah. my kids, so they they know each other. Okay. Oh, okay, there you go. So Justin and Migs, how is it you guys are played with the salt together? Is that correct? Did you guys play in the salt together under Coach Hans? Yeah, how high is school, it high school? Yeah. High school. How is it now that you guys will be playing uh well amateur under Coach Ernie and the Stallions? Migs, I could go with you. What are you looking forward uh, to? Come again? Yeah, Migs. Oh, uh, it's it's not nice because it's I'm I'm still playing with one of my best friends growing up, and like it's good to reconnect. And like I grew up with this guy during high school, you know, the formative years of your life. And I'm happy. I'm happy to be playing, and I'm excited. There you go. So Kurt, Ernie, you could see these two. They played together in high school. What well, are you? Ex the, yeah. The, the funny thing is, Mix is actually a junior of Junior Munoz. They actually mm. almost play the same way. Okay, yeah. that's that's the one thing that it, it was it was attracted me to mix is he plays like Junior, and I would tell the coaches that man, this is just like a you know small version of Junior Munoz, a Junior of Junior Munoz. You know, so they, we know they play, they play in the junior, same position. Junior. So I said, man, you know it, it would be a great you know thing, uh, experience for Mix to be able to learn from Junior. Junior's played in very high level already internationally. For the national team, for Kaya, uh, he he's he is one of the Kaya players that I recruited. Oh, okay. Yeah. Junior is one of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So so we have an understudy for Junior. Oh, junior. Yeah, yeah. So Madame Junior. You know, we have a lot of um, stadium players who know each other one way or another, even Two as like teams, kids. Yeah, so and they we were can young. say yeah, there's some expected chemistry, to, and they will take that. Um, they will take it to full advantage, I can That's say. Right. Yes. So let's carry on, I guess. We got Junior. I think Junior is included in the second batch. So yeah. Junior, of course, a very familiar name. Yes. As we see right here. You're a fullback. And yeah. Former Pascal, even play with Ceres. So how is yeah. it to be okay. back with Stallion? Uh, yeah, first of all, I want to thank Coach Ernie for the opportunity to get back at uh, what I love to do, football, of course. Because uh, personally, I got injured in 2019 with Ceres. And then uh, I had to go back uh, to have my injury back in Holland. And then I had to do my rehab for like more than half a year. So that was really tough mentally. But I came back stronger and then... Yeah, I came back with Ceres and then, of course, COVID happened. And then, uh, yeah, it was hard also for me to to get back at my level again because, uh, because of COVID. And then, in addition, I had to stay also uh, back in Holland for personal matters. Uh, but I'm very happy to be back. And, uh, yeah, very happy. Can't wait to play. Yeah, I'm... Um... If I'm not mistaken, one of your last matches was for Ceres against Stallion in the Copa already. And now you're with the other team. So <laughs> transferred. Yeah, you'll be bringing yeah, yeah, yeah. in 
international experience to coach Ernie's team, yeah. playing AFC Cup, even playing for the ASCAL. So, how does yeah. that feel as one of those guys? Bring in, oh, uh, I've been there, I've done that. You want to bring Stallion there, yeah. Right? So, how's it exactly? Yeah, one of those, yeah, guys? that's also one of my reasons I want to join uh, the team with, uh, with Ernie. It's because, uh, yeah, we haven't been champions for a couple of years now, and I feel like with my seniority and my experience, I can uh, I can add that value, you know, in, in the team. And I think it's uh, very important, especially in the back, because I play uh, as a defense. Uh, you're able to get uh, to control a little bit uh, more of the game. You know, are we going to go attack or are we going to stay, keep the ball in the back? I think... That's very important. This is gonna play a big role, I think, in a lot of games. And uh, we've been playing good the, the last few games. We had a lot of uh, practice games, and uh, I think we're we're on the right track. I'm sure. On the right track, of course. Yeah. And then I, I don't know if Junior remembers coach. this, but the reason why I recruited him from Kaya is the right. year we won our championship in the, the PFL. Championship, yeah, I yeah. remember. Junior scored <laughs> against Global. And that's that why the goal that <laughs> gave us a championship. Yeah, exactly. You know, wow. that was the header. That's the reason why I, I recruited him to play for Stallions the following year. <laughs> <laughs> Giving you guys yeah, a so, helping hand already. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I want to I wanna help the team also to, to get there because I believe there's a lot of potential and uh, it's really positive. It's looking really positive in, in Stalin. Definitely. And yeah. you know what? Experience will be super valuable, Claudia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's very important. Yeah. You know, you, 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 you see in, in the screen, you got Justin and Migs. They're, they're young, yeah. you know, they're young coming into the, into the league. Yeah. You've, you've been you've an experienced player, played in the Philippines. Yeah. How are you going to be a mentor to, to Justin and Migs? Especially Migs, as what yeah. Coach Ernie said, that it's almost like a replica or the junior yeah, of yeah. the junior. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, it's hard, you know, to teach the team uh, at once. I think, I think the best way to approach it is, uh, let's say, I'm right back, and the the teammates that I'm gonna connect with is the center back and the right wing and the midfield. I start from there, and then slowly it becomes more uh, understandable to other players to what I want to bring in. I think that's the best approach for. Uh, for now, and I think Mix is doing very well. He, I try to coach him also a lot. Uh, you know, personally, in some situations, what to do, and uh, they're doing really good. So I really hope uh, I can help the team a lot, uh, starting from the back, going up, and defensively, of course. All right. So, Coach Ernie, you yeah. have you have a you have a coach in, in the mids with Coach uh, with the junior. So if you notice, if you notice, huh? Clint focus on the attack, and then I focus on the defending. Yes, yeah. right. With the right. players. Yes, you know. So that's 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 teamwork, right? So that's one that's of right. the things that you know. And 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 Clint will not hesitate to tell me what it is and how it is. You know, when he watches <laughs> games, and he'll tell me, "Hey, man, I didn't like how you guys did this. We should do this more, this, that, and everything." So, and that's what I expect from him. You know, right. coach is never, you know, not 100% right all the time. You know, as, as much as we want to think that we are, it, it doesn't work that way, right? So it, it's good that I have another assistant coach who's not on the bench, but is willing yeah. to call yeah. me, you know, anytime yeah. and say, hey, you know, this is what we have to work on. This is what we have to improve. Oh, oh, oh I found this other player. I think he's going to make us stronger and everything. So that's where we're at. You know, it's, it's a collaboration between two fathers. That's basically who we are. You know, you got okay. Philbert Alkiros, the father of Natasha Alkiros and Nathan Alkiros. Then you got me and you got Clint. We're just fathers, you know, soccer dads, basically. Okay. And that's how we treat these kids, like our children, like our sons, you know. Right. And with the Malditas, like our daughters. And that's the one thing that, I guess, keeps us going, you know, right. compared to you know other coaches. And I would always say this jokingly is, you know, when I would recruit players and I would tell them, hey, you know, come play for Stallions because I can guarantee you the coach is never going to be fired. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, That's good stability, if you ask me. <laughs> it's the same guy that you're going to have to deal with because in the middle of the season, sometimes coaches change, right? Yeah. You know, but in, right. in, in Stallions, you know, I, I've been there since 2011, you know, so hopefully in the future I'll be able to hand it over to 
one of my players, you never know, but you know, like, right. you know, like I said, I'm, I'm just happy with how things have kind of progressed this season. We were able to uh, start training earlier and I'm, um, you know, and I've, Unfortunately, uh, Marvin got cut off. Uh, I think he was—he was—he's also uh, commuting he's in and out. Yeah, he's in yeah. and out. Yeah, yeah. he's another he's player in the out. midfield that's going to be able to help us. Uh, you know, and one of the guys trying to get in also is Charles Pickering. Yeah, uh, they're both. Yeah. You know, he, uh, he's one of my two players that we're loaning to ADT. And uh, Charles is only 19, so he can still be part of the under 23 and the U19. You know, so that's what we're, what we're trying to do, you know, and it's, it, it, so far it's worked out the way we kind of projected it, uh, you know, to be. So Charles still needs some playing time. And I think, you know, getting him some international experiences are also going to help him in the long run. You know, he, he signed with Stallions, but in the same time, you know, we're loaning him to um, uh, ADT. Uh, that is so that he gets known because he nobody really knows a lot about you know Charles. He's a big kid, you know. He 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 knows what he's doing. He's right. physical with the ball. He's got specific abilities that I think will benefit, especially the U19. So if if we get him more playing time in the PFL and the ADT, it's really going to help him uh, with the U19, and that's one of the objectives that you know that we have. You know, it, it's funny that as we talk about stallions. You know, Clint and I are planning on how we're going to add players for the U19, uh, U18 national team for both the men's and women's, you know, and so it doesn't stop. You know, it's a you know, continuously evolving process for us. Yeah. Continuously evolving process, yes. Coach Clint, yes, you're going to yeah. chime in, I think. I uh, disagree. It's, it's, a, it's a nonstop process. If, if, if you go to sleep, uh, it, it goes away real fast. So always got always on the lookout for sure. Of course, with yeah, I, I, me and Clint, we're, we're, we, he gets up like three in the morning. Okay, wow. Go to work, and, yeah. and by by four thirty, we're on the phone ready. His morning, yeah. okay. Ooh. So it, it doesn't stop till the next day when I get up. Then, then I'm talking to uh, Mrs. McDaniel, getting <laughs> logistics sorted out and everything. You know, so it's it's you know yes. it's, it's we're in this for our children. We're in this for the long run. So. Right. You know, when we talk about, you know, a stallion being a family, it is. It seems you know, like it, huh? It seems it like is. it. Yeah. You know, everybody's part of the family because we are, you know, it, it's one big family. Yeah. Yes. We can try to bring in Charles. Yes. We, we've yeah, been having some technical me. difficulties as of late, but let's try to bring him in. Let's see. Yeah. Hi, guys. Let's, let's see. Hi, Charles. Hi, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you guys. Okay, good. Yeah, we're Wonderful. good. Yeah. All right. Yes. So Coach Ernie told us more about yourself, um, but we want to hear from you. All right. um, you know, I'm sure you, you know the, the standard question. Um, what are you looking forward to and what uh, expectations or uh, can the fans see with a Charles well, Pickering? Um, I'm, firstly, I'm glad to uh, finally be home because um, I spent 10 months in Thailand on my own last year and it was very difficult. Uh, especially because I'm so young, you know, I, I really miss my family. And um, in Thailand, nobody speaks English. So I look forward to being able to speak to everyone again and uh, just break through the, the Philippine League, you know. And I, I have to thank Coach Ernie for giving me the, the opportunity um, to do that because it's definitely something I've been waiting for for a long time um, growing up here being born here and uh, watching the league grow. So. All right. What school did you go to here? Uh, for I went to school here for my last four years of school. So I went to school in BSM, the British okay. school. Yeah, yes. Yeah. School, yeah. Okay, and you were born in Quezon City. Yeah. Nice. But I grew up all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Okay. A lot of exposure, yes. That works for football yeah. too. It does. Yeah, it, does. it was yeah. mostly because of football that I grew up all over the place. Oh, okay. Yes, I think yeah. you have experience in Thailand. That's where yeah. you were playing as of late, as yeah. he said. And coach said you'll be on loan, I think, with ADT. Is that ADT. right, coach? Um, yeah. This is uh, I actually just learned about this this morning. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that, Surprise. Um, that's, yeah, that's uh something I'm looking forward to. Uh. 
again, I have to thank Coach Ernie for the opportunity, and uh, I hope to uh, show him that it was worth it. The loan is only for the cup, so I'm oh, trying to get him his playing experience. Because, you know, like I said, uh, you know, we were thinking more of you know the U19 you know, uh, happening. And when I found out, you know, that Charles can qualify for the U19, I said, you know, the best way for me to put yeah. him in the ADT because that's our developmental program, right? You know. Yeah. But he I has a place in Stallions, and we want him in Stallions. But I don't want to take this opportunity away from him. You know, for right. being part of the youth national team. So that's one of the reasons why we agreed to the loan, you know, and then hopefully we'll be able to get the international playing experience and then, you know, come back uh, during the, you know, the league and help Stallion. There's two of them, him and J.D. Kalukaga. Two of them are Kalukaga. going on loan, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we see ADT is a fantastic incubator of ta for talent, of course. We've seen Very them be able to yeah. develop these guys and who are progressing. And then I think one more player was supposed to join, but he's having technical problems. So we have a slide for him at least. So we got we got Marvin. Go. Familiar name yeah. also. So he's he's, Very he's captain name. for the Philippines in the senior level. So he's the twin of Marvin. Yeah. Marvin is playing overseas, but coach, you have another midfielder here. I also saw Marvin play up front a couple of times for archers in the PFL. Correct. Yeah. So it, it, we, we, we also tried to bring him in last year. Uh, but I, I, at that time, uh, he was, I think, committed to play for Rapids. Unfortunately, Rapids is, is still working on their documents to get, you know, Claudia knows that, you know, <laughs> working on their documents to, to get on board with the league. So, you know, uh, this, is, this is nice because, you know, uh, I was hoping to have the twin brothers. That would have been nice to have both of them, right? Because they played together at one time, but hey, yes, you know, I'll, they did. I'll they did. Half. I'll take half. Still works. <laughs> yeah. They have the same skill set too. They're those guys in exactly. the midfield. Yes. Yeah, they yeah. do, don't they? Yeah, yeah. A, a little bit different. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, of course. Yes. Uh, Marvin is is more of of um, an attacking midfield, and Mari, uh, Mari, um, uh, his brother, twin brother, is more of a defensive midfield. But they, they basically have the same personalities. Same personalities. Personalities yeah. too. Yeah. Okay. Despite yeah, the exactly. slight Twins. difference Twins. in midfield in midfield yeah. role, of course. Yeah, but exactly. I think um, that does it, Coach, for all the players that we're going to bring in. Unfortunately, Marvin has technical issues. Yes. But yeah. I think we went through all of them already. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Because two hours to go through the whole lineup. Coach, yeah, I don't longer than I thought, but we appreciate this opportunity to be able to introduce you and your team for the upcoming season. So, Coach, I guess what else is in store? I think we yes. went through everything. Well, 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 a lot. You know, uh, Clint coming in, actually, we, we set the bar a little bit higher as far as being more active in social media. And Clara, you know that. That's why we've been talking to you guys about this a lot also. And, and I really appreciate you, all the help you. that... Yeah. Both of you have been, you know, giving us, and, and that's important <laughs> for the growth of Philippine football. And that's why, you know, we we, we like working with with uh, all the personalities, everybody who wants to be a positive impact. I just don't like assholes. So those assholes, who, they know who they are. I don't like talking to them. You know, I don't like talking. I don't like answering the questions to them, talking to them in interviews because they're they're not nice people. But you know, you know, for those who really want to contribute to Philippine football, hey, you're more than welcome. And, and there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of people who have been reaching out to us and wanting to know things. Uh, last year, specifically, we took a low profile, you know, just so that we don't put a lot of pressure on all the players, you know. But yeah. we, we, had, we have an end goal in mind. So, you know, you know, hopefully, like I said, this is a family thing, you know, between the Alquilos, McDaniels, and the Nieras, you know, all the children are all involved. You know, you guys know that. Yeah. Uh, so you know, not 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 just the children, but also the husbands and the wives. The wives yes. in the background still doing the stuff. I promise you. You know, Lindy's doing all our bookings, all this, all that, and everything. You know, so with Pinky and so with you know with Mrs. Alkiros, you know, John Alkiros still doing the same thing. So yeah, you know, they're there. So you know, hopefully, you, yeah, you know, hopefully you'll see a lot of good things happen with with. Italian, especially this year, not just with, with our senior team, but also with our academy as well. You know, oh. doing a, a lot of different changes. Uh, 
we we want to we'll be participating in the in the national championships for the U19 U16 with the boys. Our our women's team we've always had our women's team uh, for the women's league, so we'll still be there. You know, mm -hmm. uh, at one time, honestly, you know, if if just to prove a point, we were going to bring the whole U.S. squad to the Philippines <laughs> to play in the women's league. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it well, almost happened. <laughs> That almost happened. If if this didn't if this didn't happen in the World Cup, that was the next step to get everybody seen. You know, Stalin was basically going to be made up of girls from the U.S. Oh, wow! Yeah, wow. It'd be a powerhouse team with a lot of talent. And they can even get spotted by Asian Asian teams. Asian leagues, yeah. Yeah. Well, yes. we wanted to. You know, you, there is already a, a, a club championship for for the women's right. So that's yes. one of the objectives in. And hopefully our, our women's league will be able, able to grow into that in the right. very near future, you know, because it's important. We are the only team who's going to the World Cup without a professional league. That's true. You know, that, I think I saw something great. along those lines. Very yes. Yeah, yeah. So that, that in itself is a big achievement. That says a lot. And I'm telling you, there's a lot of talented local girls. Yes. I agree. Okay. So we, we cannot just overlook the local talent itself. And I'm happy to say that, that, the president and the general secretary they have plans uh, to make sure that opportunities are also given to our local talent, not just you know not just on the boys or the men's, but also in the women's and the girls. So it's there. You'll, you'll hear a lot of good things, and I'm sure Claudia is itching to kind of talk about it in the future. She knows what's happening, so you know. So you know, our 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 you know our competitions department head Coco Torre is going to be very very busy this year. And yeah. trying to organize all these competitions leading up uh, to the formation of the national teams, and you know, and hopefully, like I said, in the near future, we'll also have Coach Clint in the Philippines. Yes. You know? Yeah. And then I, sure. I, I, today, today, I just met a junior's former coach who has a UEFA A license. Oh, okay. Richard. You know? So yeah, so that's 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 nice. You know, we exchange numbers, and hopefully, we'll be able to work with each other. You know, he he said that. Oh, I, I really like the way Stadium plays. I've watched you guys for a long time. So when when things like that happen and coaches of such caliber come to you and say you're doing something right, then you must be doing something right. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, hopefully this will be a, a good kickoff point for uh, Stallions as a club. Uh, you know, and hopefully we'll be able to. Uh, you know, uh, we've set the bar high this year, which we always do. And uh, but now I I feel much much better because we've been able to bring in the talent that we need and then we know that future looks bright because now we have the young talent also to learn from our senior players so going forward we feel that that we have we have a good plan and we have a good team for the next five six years yeah, you said the fantastic. bar really fantastic. high yeah <laughs> of course and yeah. there's progress yes yes but yeah. wow that was a fun time introducing i think half the stallion squad um, yeah, yes. great opportunity, coach. Not everyone gets to say they did that over a show or on air. But yep. yes. to wrap up, we have two players with us. As again, we had a revolving door. Every, almost, almost everyone got. Almost to everyone by. Come, yeah. We have Junior, a veteran, of course, a big return to Stallion, and Charles, a young gun, of course, who will be with ADT. But their coach Ernie made it straight. Charles is with Stallion. That's right. Okay. Yes, as coach again said, he continues to harness talent. And again, we got our, we got Finn. Welcome back again. Long time no see, right? And we got Coach Clint. I think that's this is yours, Finn. That's, that's is that you, Finaldo? Finaldo eh? uh, yeah. <laughs> that's Finn. That's me. Okay. okay. So we got a new pun. Uh, yes. Yeah, that's, that's, my nickname. That's, that's my nickname that's, with all the players, but I'm known as a different one to Ernie. It's yeah. It's I'm gonna, I, 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 if I, I want him to run faster, all I have to say is, hey, Griffin. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he, he loves that name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he knows how I can kind of, you know, shut something up. up there so that he'll run faster. But he's been working hard a lot. You know, it's been unfortunate. In 2019, he was injured. And then 2020, same thing. Right, right, right before the season start, he gets injured. And then last year for the – uh, oh, no, this year. For the U23, one week before they leave, he gets injured again. Uh, yes, AFC. You know? So he mentioned. missed that chance. But I'm happy that he made it to the AFF U23. So now he's got his caps. Now he's got been able to 
you know, progressed from, you know, from where he was before to now he's starting. So, you know, and it's, it's worked out, you know, now the sisters are, they're always reminding him, you know, that we've set the standards high for the McDaniels. So, you know, you can't let up, you can't let up. So, you know, you know, so, you know, it's, it's, it's like a passion, passing of the torch, you know, that, that was me, you know, a few years ago with Samantha and, and now with Matthew. So, you know, now it's it's Clint with 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 the girls with Finn, and then hopefully with Declan. Then he's gonna pass it back to me with Matthew's children. Right, your grandkids, you know? coach. And then don't don't hey don't forget, huh? Junior has a baby girl. Neil Etheridge has a baby girl. Maldita is oh. cured. <laughs> you know, Neil Etheridge has a baby girl. Shrookie has a baby girl. Yes. Oh, you know? so we're, we're, we're secure. We're, we're doing the next well. generation. Next Natasha generation has a baby girl. Oh, girl too. Okay, for Tasha and Dato. Yeah, so yes. We, 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 Maldita's going forward. Very bright future. <laughs> so you're doing you're doing your scouting very early, coach, as we mentioned oh, yeah. earlier. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we we kind of influence that. So right now we're trying to figure out how to introduce Olivia to Kai Soto, so we can have a big goalkeeper, right? <laughs> So we've been trying to, you know, I tried to do that with Finn and Vice Ganda. this to me. Like, <laughs> oh, right. The U.S. players wanted to mention that, Coach, something like along those lines. Declan, Declan is already spoken for with Matthew's daughter, okay, with Robin. Declan's already spoken for. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, they, they've, been, they've been friends for a long time. I yeah, so, I saw uh, Matthew post some highlights of his daughter, yes. She was oh, yeah, winning yeah, it all yeah, yeah, yeah. in the yeah. drills, yes. But, Coach, we wanted to give you the part to invite – um to invite the people, yes, to support your team in this upcoming Copa. Yes, you're coming off the third place, and we know you want first so hard. You want to play in the Asians. Yeah. Well, first of all, I have to thank the Philippine Football Federation. Okay, Without the leadership of, of our president, general secretary, you know, this wouldn't have happened. You know, all the challenging times and everything. And for our hard-working commissioner there, Coco Torre, you know, you know We've had some big things back and forth, but he's always been very supportive. And especially the owners, you know, the club owners, you know, who've been working behind the scenes and working, working really, really hard to make sure that our league keeps going. It continues. You know, it, it's a big sacrifice. They know that not just, you know, emotionally, but also financially. You know, everybody putting everything together to make sure everything happens. And for Stallions, you know, I, I want to thank the city itself, you know, Binyan. Making sure you know our mayor, vice mayor, congresswoman has always been very, very supportive. And last but not least, Lakeside Squad. You know they're our ultras. They've been there since day one for us, and I know they're always they'll always be there for us. So I I look forward to working with them again this coming season, especially now that fans will be allowed to watch the games. So you know hopefully we'll 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 start hearing the you know the stallion songs again in the crowd, and you know it'll be really exciting and, and fun to watch. So I want to make sure that the fans, you know, don't forget about football. You're going to see the Copa this season. Uh, it's going to start uh, next week, actually, in the 14th, uh, you know, and all the way to uh, May, mid-May. And then from there, we'll have a break just because of the Southeast Asian Games and the AFC quali- uh, a- yeah, the Asian Cup qualifiers. After that, we're back for the PFL League. So hopefully we'll be able to get uh, to the, the proposals to have more than two rounds. So... You know, hopefully also we'll have a few more teams joining for the league. So, you know, you know, with Kaya and UCFC representing the Philippines, you know, um, in the biggest league in Asia, you know, we really look forward to be one of those teams to take that slot from them next season. <laughs> I like that confidence. Of <laughs> they have a target on their back. Yes. Claudia, I think you big, 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 big target. Big, big, Huge big, big, target. Big. Yes. Yeah. Um, Coach Ernie and uh, uh, Coach Clint, I have to leave because I have a meeting. <laughs> it's been two yeah. hours, but I'll leave with you, Claro. Claro will probably help uh, speak to Marvin because Marvin's internet. Yeah, I think, we'll, is, let's uh, give Marvin another go. He may have been but thank able to you. Start out I'll see you, you guys on the pitch. I'll yes. see you guys on the pitch. See you, Claudia. Yes, yeah, sure. All right. It's a pleasure. Okay. Oh, so Marvin cut out. Yeah, I really think it's with the internet. So I think we can call it an episode already. Um, I was fantastic again, Coach, Coach Ernie, Coach Clint again, Finn, Charles Junior, of course. Uh, yes. Charles and Junior, of course. You know, 
you guys are the last batch. Maybe they say save the best for last, right? So you guys are here <laughs> at the tail end. Yeah. yeah. And there's yeah. Marvin. Okay, there. So Marvin can connect. You can just have a quick hello as Claudia yeah. got going. Yeah, yeah, let's keep disconnect. Yeah, are you there, Marvin? We can get some quick words before we call it the stream. Are you, you here? Me? Yep. Yeah. Can yeah. You hear me? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, we're disconnecting good. yet. Yeah, no worries. Um, it's with the software we have to. So you have experience, of course, not just PFL with other clubs, but also with the Ascos. Picked up a bunch of caps. So you're going to bring that to Stallion. And what's your thought process in joining the team? Yeah, I think uh, Scott Cerny said. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll have to call it. I'm not sure where Marvin is if he's just outside or in his on his data, but we're in able to hear him. But gentlemen, thank you so much. I can't wait to catch you guys soon. Hopefully in the stadium if we can you know have some fans over. That would be fantastic seeing the guys mix up the new players mix up with you know guys like Junior, guys like Marvin. So I'm excited, yes. Um, so it's Coach Clint's attacking crew, and then they will be linking up with Coach Ernie's defenders pretty much. I see the midfield that you guys had had that shared contribution yeah. of bringing in your respective players and building the best squad you can with what you have, of course. But yeah, I think we can call it an episode. I'll just run the, the closing credits right here. But again, Clara Manzano in behalf of, I think, the entire Stallion Laguna FC we can proudly say, and it's been over two hours already, but we were never missing any action. We started off again with the foreign signings, and we're ending here with some returnees, some homegrown guys. So we're going to catch you soon, guys. So peace out.